All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our newest installment of Gravity Rip, our little uh, tabletop game, which I forgot to close the window for. Give me just a moment. Oh, I knew I was... I forgot my drink, too. Yo, I'm, I'm just going to play the music a little bit more. Um, I'm, I'm just going to give it a moment. Um, you know, I'm, I'm just going to give me a little bit more. Uh, just, 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 just give me, give me, give me a little bit longer. I realized I forgot a few things, and so I got a bit caught up with something. Black ski. Um, just gonna play music again. Uh, back in, back, 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 back in the moment. Cut music, cut, cut the fucking music, okay? Let, 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 let's actually fucking start now. I, I'm sorry about that. I got a little bit preoccupied with doing something uh, as a last moment bit of prep. Because, oh boy, GMing is actually kind of difficult. Um, <laughs> how is everyone? Hopefully everyone's doing well. Hello, Simba. Hello, Blacksky. Hello, Cheese. Hello. And good job, Blacksky, for getting first. wonder how you got that, huh? Oh, dear. Oh. Hey, very well, God Fox. Thank you for the sub. I really do appreciate that. How are you doing? I saw your comment on the uh, YouTube's, uh, dare I say. So, um, you know, it's been a long time coming, but it is finally here. <laughs> we have the return of Fina Operable. And we'll introduce our players in just a moment, but uh, in case you don't know, Gravity Rip is a lighter form of a tabletop game that I like to uh, GM. This is a game about high speed thrills and the death style that is Gravity Rip League Racing. So, uh, this is what we're going to be doing, and you're going to be uh, fla uh, having a flavour of the shit accents that I'm going to try and do, because I'm really not good when it comes to impersonations. Um, yeah, I, I did not get out of bed since I told you that I was tired. Oh, God, jeez, hopefully you're okay. Maybe you're a little bit under weather. Uh, also as well, another thing I will just mention, during this, I won't really be responding to the chat. I will be reading it, though, so don't you worry. I'll, I'll be taking a little bit of a look here and there about things, but uh, i got a lot of shit I need to reference, and I don't have enough screen space for it so you know if i don't see every tiny little thing in chat don't flame me on twitter okay <laughs> oh dear alrighty um let's give a shit going shall we yeah let, 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 let's just go with this shit so let me just double check i've got everything sorted uh, i do believe we have everything sorted um i need to do one more thing really quickly as you can see i well you can't see but you can probably hear i'm hitting v a bunch of times uh yeah, that's fine. Alright, perfect. Uh, that is now pushed, that is all good. Hopefully no one fucks it up. And let us go ahead and switch the... yes, the... Um, let me go ahead and switch over to the Gravity Rip scene, because it's been a moment and I'm bad at this. Um, perfect. Uh, oh, I know it. Oh, wait, I know it's not showing. Oh, okay, I... I know now. I know now. Uh, wait, why is it not showing? It's still not showing. Why the fuck is it still not showing? Why the fuck is it still not showing? Sus. It, it is very sus. Give me a fucking moment. Um, can you show, please? Sh sh show? Ayo? Uh, you here? Hello? Hello? It's, is, this, is this going to fucking work for me? Uh... Give me a moment. I... Okay, hold on. Um, properties... Uh... No, what's this stuck on Smartron? No, that's not... Some... I don't... 
No, it's not that. It I why is it not on? Wait, why are you not on? Oh fuck me. Uh give me a moment. You see, things were going okay. Now it's not okay. Oh fuck me. Uh Leah, how are you doing, Jeff? Um I'm currently trying to work out where the fuck this is broken. Um properties, I mean, this should be fine. Oh! Ah, okay, perfect. Here we go. Lovely. Right, okay, and it actually fits. Lovely. Hey, it's working. Good, good. Uh, right, okay. In that case, let me adjust what I need to do, because my initial plan of using Discord is now completely buggered, uh, because I forgot a single thing. So, let me go onto my mobile phone so I can reference things that I have note-wise on there, which I really should have done on a Word document. That's for later. I am not a competent DM when it comes to extended universe shit, um, as you're probably going to find out. I don't know how Drew doesn't, man, like... Oh uh, dear, how the fuck does he keep track of all that dumb shit? Uh, okay, I've got my DM notes ready on the side. Um, yep, no, that tells me voices and things. Okay, good, good. Uh, let's see if they are bullying me. <laughs> and they're just eating on all the tree. What? I was talking about milk. Yeah, no, I, I, I saw. Why, what the fuck? I... Well, since I was a skeleton, I was having him, uh, you know, tell me all the difficulties and differences of the milk. Yeah, right. that C-section about the giraffe thing. Which oh, right, yes, yeah, so the Barbatu and milk where we need to get the C-section out and then have the little milk baby that we then uh, harvest for the milk inside. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I was just saying how like fresh glass to get a glass yeah. and just shove it into the C-section then it'll come out with milk. Yeah, this law that we really... Probably never needed in the Gravity Rip universe. Um, it's now a thing, and yeah, and, Klein, and Klein wants it too. Yeah, yeah. that was like a milk. Oh dear lord! High right. calcium. Oh yeah. dear. All right. I, well, yeah, anyway, probably. hi, uh, hi everyone. Um, hi. How are you doing? You, you know, it's not like oh. been in the call for a little bit longer than uh, before, is it? How are we all doing? No. Um, I'm here, so I don't have a notepad, it's, it's but that's handy. fine. Oh, I hold on. I am now. Oh. Sorry, I am really unprepared for this. Holy shit. <laughs> Usually I'm at least in some way prepared. Right now, I am just completely fucked. Holy shit. It's not like you've known about this for the past month. So you yeah, no. no time to repair. Yeah, look, I, I did it. I, I, I had a week's worth, but the issue is when it always comes to a the moment, there's always something I forget. And that's the issue here, right? Well, you know, <laughs> it's always something. Yeah. Not like we tell you right at the last minute what we want. Yeah, yeah, no. It's not yeah. like you told me to make a fucking... That's... I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah. Anyway. Ooh, um, okay. Yeah, anyway. Who do, like, so, obviously before we actually get into the game and explain your characters again, obviously we all know how Gravity Rip kind of works, and if you don't, we have previous videos on that on the YouTube, uh, totally not a shameless plug. Uh, but, because this is a new session, how about we introduce ourselves to our players again? Um, may we get a bit of, um, inspiration from the metallic PFP right there. Is that Black's mine? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, like, it's like weird metal things, like, I don't is that a cat on yours, Odin, or a bunny? I... No, it's an Odin statue. Oh, it's an Odin. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. Right, right, go right, ahead. As big as I can get the image. Alright. Go ahead. Do I do I who do I introduce? Who are you? Who 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 are you who is Blackski? Who Oh. I'm Blackski. We get into characters I'm, in a moment. <laughs> I'm from London. No, I'm from England. <laughs> You're from London? I'm not from London. <laughs> I don't know oh, if that was right. This is already going I'm from well. very far away from London. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is already going well. Isn't I don't it? know why um, I said London. Yeah, wait, wait, did you? I <laughs> I'm from very far south England. Yes, exactly. Um, right then we have Odin over here. Who's who is you? Howdy, I'm Odin, and I can actually speak English. And I'm also from the very far, yeah, very south part of England. Never mind. You say you speak English, English, but otherwise, yeah, 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 yeah no. Before. Sorry, we're all scuffed here. We're all scuffed. Things are scuffed. We're just going with it. <laughs> oh <laughs> dear. But yeah, um, <laughs> this is a shit show. I should just fucking end the stream. Oh, fuck. <laughs> end stream. That was it for my. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. All right. Anyway, fuck. Um, should we just get into the fucking game and uh, catch up on what has happened since um, you know, it's been for us seven months maybe by now nine months, but for your character, it's only been two weeks. And boy, what a two weeks that was. Are ready to jump in? No. Nah. You're not. You're not ready. Do you need? Okay. Do you want me to like go to BOB then? Like. I don't know, just ruminate. I want some milk. Well, in this two weeks, many things have happened. 
Obviously, you are all still in Crater City, and uh, Razors of Fien are operable. We have both Klein and Pablo, who we will get to in just a moment, but just as a bit of a recap for those in the stream. Last time, there was an unfortunate event, which seems to happen every time lately, because last last team they had a um, their father die, and uh, in this one, we had the loss of a racing legend, Sadie Danzel, uh, probably one of the uh, golden children of racing, always known to be a quite nice and respected person, unfortunately lost their life. Uh, the current uh, surroundings of the death is not really well known, but it is well publicized and rumored. There was a uh, wake for uh, Sadie and the lost family members after the incident. Uh, would any of you have gone to that? Nah. Okay. Would Pablo have gone to that? Yes. Alright, well, fuck it, Pablo, just for you, I'll give you a bit of an explanation of shit that happened. Uh, probably much like what happened before with our dear Speed, uh, the car was effectively the coffin. You could see bits of things, they, they tried covering it up and making it look nice, but at the end of the day, you can't do much about it when the gravity rip engine explodes. Um, so you were able to go through the typical, typical funeral proceedings, you saw a few more members of the Finar. It seemed to have a very orange and black theming to the um, funeral. Another theme of it was the sheer amount of paparazzi there, because in a rare appearance actually for Fina, we had the head of it, Malara Sunan, come over. You weren't able to really get in the word edgeways, but you could see them in the distance with their striking pink hair and their um, slightly mauve skin, uh, clearly something of a, let's call it a space elf uh, for simplicity. but. They were there answering many a question and showing their respects. But while you're here, Pablo, could I have you roll for a theory check? Is that six? Uh, yeah, so you need to roll a 1d6, and I need to remember if theory is above or below. Theory is above because chaos is below, so you need to roll above a three or equal to it. Yeah. Uh, all right, perfect. So, obviously you're there for your own reasons, and I don't think you have any mi malicious intent, but you do notice that there's a few people looking at you and whispering. As has been uh, mentioned in the news, there was rumours that you are connected to this murder. Now, you obviously know that you couldn't have possibly done it, but that's not what everyone else knows. And you know that in the upcoming days, there will be many an investigation on each of the assets of Finar and seeing if there was anything from the inside that could have caused it. Um, I think already we have had, uh, um, yeah, sorry, my words are fucking up right now. Uh, Klein, uh, be looked at. Uh, they didn't find anything on your car because of course they wouldn't have. Uh, things were clean, uh, no illegal mods or anything like that, but let's just go in with Pablo for a moment here since I, I do want to just... Talk through the investigation with you, because you had a uh, investigator from the actual league itself coming to investigate you. You, was, you were all sort of met in around the paddock, you had many other representatives from the team there as well. Uh, what sort of walks in is a quite large and imposing man. Um, not in their stature, but more in their height. They appear to even need to bend, uh, bend down, but they appear to be mostly humanoid. Uh, coming in with a clipboard and a very degraded um, little badge showing their inspectorate um, role. They approach you and say, Hello, my name is Inspector Rowe. Are you Pablo Ass Kicker? Hell yeah, sir. Hello, Pablo. I need to talk to you about the events of last. Can you tell me your relation to Sadie Danzel? Friend. Friend. Any other interactions with Sadie that are of note? Uh, just racing colleague, really. Racing colleague. No out-of-hours events were had with Sadie, is that to be no. understood? Alrighty, um, I have gotten a message from the health and relate from the um, human relations department about some conduct. Could you please explain your attitude in regards to the idea of a love situation that was uh, read from your lips? Um, I believe one of the terms was matchmaker. Uh. <laughs> Um, yes. 
I thought him and or her and Klein were a very good match. Were they? She was always listening to his conversations, giving a keep keeping a good eye on him, and that's what I thought why she was a bit interested. I see. But this was only your own thoughts. This was nothing that was proven. Can you attest to the fact that Klein and Sadie did not engage with each other outside of the racing? I cannot tell you. I do not know okay. their whereabouts very well. Understandable. He sort of starts writing down in his um, notepad uh, about your um, testimony. I, I try and glance over what he's writing. Uh, give me a theory check. Unless you can argue, well, it doesn't really matter for you, but do you want to go chaos or theory wise here? Or I get different info. Theory. Okay, theory. Give me a roll. Ah. Oh. Hmm. You sort of try to peek over, but they catch on to it, and with their large and imposing form, they simply just need to hold it up more. That's all they do to avoid it, and they continue to write as well while keeping an eye on you. They appear to be very good at a penmanship. Which is something rare, really, in a gravity rip, and, you know, the the year that it is, because pens were generally not really considered to be used anymore. But they seem to be old school. After they sort of finish off making a few more notes, they then go, Alright, thank you, Pablo. Do you have any objections to me inspecting your vehicle? No. Your lack of objection is noted. I will need to inspect your vehicle. Please, can you unlock it so I can inspect? Uh... Yeah, hang on. And I press the other button. The, the other button? The unlock button. Oh, the unlock button. Okay. Since, you know, that's going to come into play, but they sort of start taking a look around the car in general. Um, They even go underneath the car as well, and they say, it appears one of your wires is faulty down here. Oh, thank you. I'll get that I would recommend out. getting that fixed. They come back out, and they then take a peek in your cockpit. Um, I think you know what I'm about to say, but it's they then they then say, "Do you mind explaining to me what power mode and waiting factor means?" Um. Yes. So. Please explain. The, the waiting factor. It yes. Distributes the weight differently. So. Say right now. To keep it level, it's got the weight evenly distributed throughout the whole ship. Throughout the whole ship. Right. And then, as I press the button, depending on which way I press it, will then put the weight all of the weight on one side. Are you sense. saying this is a modification to your vehicle? No, it came with the vehicle. This was a mod that came with the vehicle and was noted to have come with a vehicle. Yes. It appears you have some dirt on the button, um, grime as well, something unusual in a um, racing vehicle. Are, Are you, you absolutely? I am saying there is grime that would be relating to the possibility of a garbage dump. It seems um, alien in this car. Um. I don't know what to say. It just came like that. I will ask you plain and simply. Is this a modification that has been verified by the League? Um, it hasn't not been verified. He just sort of squints at you. That is not a correct answer. I need a yes or a no. Is this an illegal modification? No, it is not an illegal modification. It is completely legal. In that case, I need you to roll. Do bear in mind, if you do have it, there is a radical bonus. If you do fuck it up, then, you know, you can uh, use that. Also, do bear in mind, you all have a form of reputation. That could be on the line here. After all, you're a podium position people. Maybe that could give you some sway and allow you to roll again, if you so desire. Or if you can find a way for it to peek in here. So we'd like to just do a straight, um, let's call it a chaos roll, because you're definitely not caught on with this. Um, I feel like I was quite prepared for this. I, I, I don't know. I was prepared. I could put stickers on that. I was you prepared. Put, you put stickers on it, but that doesn't stop the question of what the stickers are. I, I, 
I had it in my mind what the waiting factor was. All in my mind, I was prepared for this. Right. Okay. Well, tell you what, roll a theory check. Yeah, Remember, you, need to roll you. you need to roll above your number. Um, that is above a number. <laughs> All right. Well, they sort of just eye you down and try to understand what you've done and goes, Understandable. Should it be known that if any illegal modifications have been caught, that will be added to any charges that are found upon you later with the apparent death of Sadie Denzel? Is this understood? Yeah. Alright then. I believe my investigations of the Phenar Operable Paddock is done. I will take my leave, but do inform me of any changes that are need to be made a note of. Do you need also, to make a note of the cable? I do need to make a note of the cable, however, I will leave that to you to get it fixed, as I do believe that is a cable that connects to the hover strength of your car. So I'd highly recommend getting that fixed. I also see highly what recommend. You cannot see what I have wrote. This is a classified documentation. And they flip down the notepad before you get a chance to look. Damn it. I bid you a good day. Good day. And I am sorry for your losses. I will be leaving my uh, bereavements by Sadie's uh, paddock when the time is appropriate. And they begin to take their leave. Which then leaves the rest of Fina there. Um, Clyde, you're probably just <laughs> sitting in the corner watching all of this happen. Yeah, no, you're probably just sitting there. Um, is there anything you want to do during this time? Or should we move to present day? Where am I? Am I, mean, I, am I? Anything, anything at the point of the entirety of Fina being investigated, is there anything you want to do in that point? Or should we move back to modern day gravity rip? Anything where you like being investigated? Yeah, since the investigation would still be going on, but this is basically the high point of if you wanted to make anything happen. Nah, just just keep a close eye in case they ever talk about me, but if it's not about me, I don't really care. Yeah, no, they have chatted with you a few times before, but they don't seem to put you down as a suspect since they know that in racing it can come across as a bit aggressive, and after all, it was documented that you did apologise for it. So they don't suspect foul play with that. But anyway, nice. yeah, I mean, you know, we played it off. But yes, with that all being said and done, we move to the present day of Gravity Rip. Your hotel hasn't changed by any means, so regardless, the fridge is still there and available. But as you know, probably in about a few days, you'll be having a race. Uh, Venar's operations were suspended for a sh short period of time due to the loss of Sadie. However, you've got to get back on the wagon at some point, so you will wake up at a crisp 5.59 as you prepare for a meeting. Uh, you're all just in your room, so you have a bit of spare time, like a few hours before you need to be um, in the hangar. So it's up to you in how you want to do the rest of your morning routine. If there's anything you want to do, let me know. I need to try this milk. Yes. Can are you, you looking for... Are milk. you... You're looking for milk. Would you like to tell me what type of milk you're looking for? Oh, I'm looking for... He said it was... Hold on. What was the name? It was Barbatuan. Barbatuan. I need Bob, I need to find the Barbatuan milk. That's what I need. He, <sighs> you... got, he just got it out the fridge before, so I'm gonna look in that same fridge for more milk. Uh, you see a note in the fridge saying, "Don't you even dare." Um, K. <laughs> I still look for it anyway. Yeah, there, there's nothing in the fridge, so John's like, you might need to go elsewhere. Is this, is this just in my fridge, or like we have separate ones, or what? This is your fridge, but you each have your own rooms, is a thing. I need, I need to go over to Pablo's room. <laughs> Pablo, you hear her. What the hell? Hey, yo, so you remember you were talking about that milk? Yeah. You got any? Uh, mine's been cleared out. What, you drank yours all already? No, Carrigan just took it away from me. Um give you a glass, a small glass. I just wanted to try it. He's been waffling on about this for two weeks. Oh, I hand him a small glass of a batch of milk. Mm -hmm. I don't really drink it, just pour it on myself. 
Yeah, you, like, you know, it's calcium, so every day it does something. Uh, you now have little milky chunks on you as well. Um, now, obviously, I'm not going to speak for you, but is there taste? Yes. Uh, when, when you taste okay. stuff as a, as a... When you taste calcium as a skeleton, it, it's not really a taste. It's more how it makes you feel, since it is just powering you up. Right, okay. And it, so... has, it, has like, it has, like, the same, uh, same result as, like, taking a monster. Okay, right, got you. And I'm checking as well, like, in normal Klein's form, what clothes are you wearing? Because they are probably ruined if you're just pouring it straight onto you. But, you know, what sort of clothes are you wearing? Just so we I get a more picture. Nothing. Okay. Right, so you just walked uh, out of a room, you walked out of a hallway, banged on Pablo's door asking for milk, naked. I, I mean, I'm a skeleton, there ain't nothing to see. Okay. Fair enough then. Uh, yeah, alright, fair enough. You drink the milk. You you feel refreshed. You take a trusty sip from your Vault 13 canteen. Um, okay, I... Yep, you, you do that. I don't know what else you want me to say. What? Do you want to go to the paddock now? Do you, do you want to go to the hangar? Or, like... Can I, uh, can I investigate? Investigate what? Um, Sadie's apartment? Yes, sir. You don't know where Sadie lives. As you understand, Sadie. you didn't really have much of um, contact with Sadie aside from contact you had in the time. Can I check her hangar then? Uh, you can if you want to go over to the hangar. Yes. Alright, are you both now going to the hangar? Because, do bear in mind, you have some money as well, so if there's anything you want to buy beforehand, you can. I buy for door. <sighs> Alright, take 200 crits <laughs> out, of, out of it. How, what colour is it so we can all know? It's a black fedora with a metallic uh, silver stripe going down the uh, intersection between the bit that goes up and the bit that goes across. Okay, that's now going to be 300 for the uh, metallic, since that's going to be real uh, metal. But uh, take off 300 crits, and you now have a fedora. 250. No, 300. <sighs> roll me a chaos check. Aha. Uh -huh. I know you're good at this, but, you know, just roll me a chaos check. I roll 1d6. Yep. Bon. Okay, that's a critical nice. success. Uh, they give it for you nice. to 200. Yeah, 200. Uh, yeah, mark off 200. You know, they really like your side. They think it really fits you. Um, so, needless to say, you have a friend in a random tailor that you're probably never going to contact again. But either way, nice. you now have a fedora. Uh, yep, yeah, you have a fedora now. And you, I'm assuming each of you are now making your way over to the hangar. Okay, now, yeah, now I go to the hangar. All right, you're now going to the hangar with a fedora. Uh, are you sort of walking together or are you walking alone, I guess, as well? Well, I had to go get my thing, so I probably wouldn't be. Able okay, to. fair enough. Um, yeah, fuck it. Uh, Klein. I'm being sneaky. Oh, you're being sneaky. Very well then. Uh, yeah, you sneak off one way, and Klein goes the other way to get a fedora. As you're walking back with fedora, you sort of notice that you're being tailed slightly, but by a familiar figure. Uh, you don't really pay it too much mind until they uh, clap a skeletal hand on your shoulder and goes, "Nice hat, Klein. How you doing, mate?" <laughs> You can see good taste, Samson. Yeah, oh, I know, you know, I had to get a new one lately, but, you know, that's just the upsides going up in the ranks. <laughs> I saw you treat yourself very good. Though, how's the trouble being with uh, the Sadie incident? Oh, you know, I had a couple of police come talk to me, nothing I can mm. handle. There was nothing about me that was anything wrong. I did notice you threw my teammate in. I mean, I didn't do that. It's just that, you know, some information got out, and, uh, who are we to stop it? What I will say, though, that I did stick my finger in is, uh, when we started investigating your accounts. So I had to take the cash out for a moment, put it back in. That way, they don't see that you've had a sudden imbursement from beyond the league. So, you're welcome for that one. I do appreciate you doing your job, but... Having my teammate thrown on the bus still could go badly on me. And you know what? I apologise for that because, you know, I'll be brutally honest here, mate. Uh, didn't quite go to plan. You see, Sadie was meant to be whacked. That is absolutely true. And I uh, didn't want to tell you so you didn't freak out. But she weren't meant to be whacked with her old family. Usually on a route over there, there's like this large cliff area and, uh, 
We were meant to just, you know, pop the brakes more than anything, but it appears that some idiot decided to overload the engine and took a bit longer, hence why you got your money a bit late. But what's done is done, and uh, no one else should come calling for you, so that's all sorted. Oh, speaking of faves, I might have one more for you if you're interested. Paid, of course, and uh, might you going to open out your mate as well, since there's a joint venture here. That sounds like an offer I can't refuse. Alright, perfect. So, to get the long story short here, as you know, the things that have been happening in the league lately, we had a pretty dangerous race happen uh, with a few other teams. I can't remember the names, but one of them was like some weird biological fella and uh, some other really fucked up half-elf boy. Um, put it this way. I got a few people a bit afraid of uh, expanding into the league as a prime opportunity for investments, let's call it. So, I am now currently in charge of trying to soothe their worries. And who better to soothe it than Finar Operable, one of the most prestigious teams out there. Show a team that isn't built on violence or blood money, but a team built on respect and dignity. So. I want to pay you to keep that for just a race. I basically need you and your mate uh, to not get de DQ'd, you know, not getting kicked out, not getting wrecked, not getting retired, but absolutely no physical contact. You know, if someone slams into you, take it with a chin and you move on. No retaliatory shit. Because I'm going to have some geezers watching the race and I want to point out to them that what I'm doing here and what you're doing is a good job, you know? Do you reckon you could do that? I, I will say one thing there. 20% mm -hmm. increase. What do you mean? You've put me in a bad spot here, really. I need some compensation. I think we're all in a bit of a bad spot, really, because if I get kicked out from handling the league stuff, then my continued support in your anonymity may also go. So I think you've got to understand that fact as well, and that's why I will be offering four volts and about 1,400 crits each. So as long as one of you don't fuck it up. Oh yeah, no, exactly. Your teammate will get that as well, as long as they don't fuck it up. But you know, it's not as much for you individually, but it's a good spread team, you know? Go to open up your mate. Exactly. It's a bit of cash and you don't need to whack anyone, eh? You imagine that. Hmm. All I'm asking is for a clean race where you're probably not going to get wrecked. You know, you can take a few hits, maybe just protect someone else, block off some other geese because blocking ain't technically engagement. So, how's that sound for you? Simple enough. Alright, well, if you do it right, I'll see it. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'll be able to contact you once you're done. But, you know... It's good catching up with you, and you've done a good job, you know. I, I really think you have, um, out outsold yourself. Think you're a good pick for our expansion. I always, but, uh, try my best for my customers. Indeed. And, hey, look, uh, I think you've got a glob of calcium thing on your rib, like, right, right there. Oh, yeah, it's just, um, new milk, my teammate. <laughs> was blabbering on about for weeks. It's not bad. Right, that's not the Batuan or whatever the fuck it's called, right? No, no, of course not. Oh, okay, cool. Because cool. I had that shit's cancerous. Um, be careful. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't right. be that dumb. Yeah, no, of course. You know, you're, you're a smart one out of these ones. Anyway, I'm going to leave you to that. Have a good one, and I'm going to jog on because I got some uh, boys to meet. So, chat to you later, mate, yeah? Let's all pat you on the shoulder and start moving on then. Give me the number there, yeah? Oh, you, oh fucking all right, number. Um, yeah, give me your phone. Um, do you pass over the phone? Yeah. yeah. They, they're like, oh, it's a female one. Fucking, that'd be great. Um, they sort of like just start, <laughs> start pressing a few things, and uh, then we're like, all right, here we are. I've got contacts updated. Uh, I'm not putting my full name in there, but if you need me, I'm going off of an old moniker. Call me Gregory, yeah. Hey. Yeah, Gregory Samson, Madame A. Uh, all right. Gotcha later and climb. And it's all sneaking yeah. off back into the shadows. Cancerous? What's in this milk? <laughs> Cancerous? I'll see that's what's in there. It's how do you I, Is there like a place I can get this off me? It's uh, some water thing. I, sure, maybe like Yeah. Why is it cancerous? 
That's just what someone said. Are you gonna take his word for it? Yes, it's Samson. <laughs> All right, fucking a. Um, you can go back to have a shower if you want to. Yes, I would love to do that. Oh fucking no! I need a drink. All right. I mean, uh, yeah, you can go have a shower if you want to. It will take you a bit long yeah. to get back, so Pablo will probably get there first. Um, it's, it's just we'll go... peer pressure. <laughs> well, you're not there to explain that. Pablo, you're going over to Hangar, aren't you? Yes. All right. Uh, are you going through the uh, main entrance, or are you going through the side entrance like you did last time? Um. Uh, let's go through the main entrance. All right, fair enough. Mate. Yeah, this isn't a grand debut or anything like that, so you don't have a bunch of people there, but you have a few like you know photographers just taking snaps of the uh, hottest racers out there. You know, seeing who's going in, who's leaving, trying to get a scoop on who is going to be joining in in the next race. Obviously, you do turn a few heads because uh, you are in the papers. A few people start shouting, asking for questions in regard to Sadie, but it's up to you whether you'd even want to engage with them. But you do eventually end up over to the front area, where there is a very large robot waiting for you with an arm like a gate, and it is pressed down. But, as you approach... Name... Pablo. Last name... Ass kicker. Team... Fina. One moment... It sort of take a moment to you sort of see like in their eyes like many lines of messages going through and all of a sudden it locks in onto one and their arm raises up have a good day i walk through all right fair enough you walk through as easy as that you are back in the hangar which needless to say is a very large and imposing building many people are still milling around here since they are getting ready for what is assumably going to be the next race but you've got a moment to get to the hangar, uh, as you remember, you have to actually go up a few stairs in order to get to the floor that Fina was on, as they have quite a large area made out. Do you uh, start your approach? Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Uh, one thing you probably notice as you're walking up is that, just to the side of it, you notice a small donations box uh, in regards to a fund for um, the Sadie Danzel charity. Um, they end up setting up a charity fund to raise awareness for the dangers of league racing. And they put it just outside because not many people can get inside. It's only every now and then they do have enough security to allow for a vigil to be put in their own paddock. But there is now just a small charity box outside and there is one woman just um, like sitting there crying. You think for a moment it's an actual person, but it seems to just be a hologram. Is it Sadie? Like a hologram of Sadie? No, it's just a random woman crying. Uh, you've heard about this service before, about, you know, hiring uh, grievers to come to a funeral. Uh, you've heard about it in, like, different oh, levels right. where, you know, some people yeah. will be just there crying, some, some people will just be a dark umbrella looking mysterious, some people will actually jump into the grave, and it's a varying scale. It seems to be one of the, one of the more higher-up ones, but without the need for physical contact, because they can't be removed. Are there people watching? Uh, no one's really watching because there's no one really coming in to drop in donations right now. There's much more just for any race who wants to come in. Okay, I walk past it, ignore it. Alright, fair enough. They start crying loud as you walk through. Um, but yeah, you're in the hangar. Is, am I in Sadie's hangar? Uh, so the hangar is the just general area in which the Fina operable um, places. Like, I'd call it a cubicle, right? So let's call the Fina cubicle. It's a large open plan office area. There are multiple paddocks that each person has. Uh, you can definitely go to Sadie's paddock if you want to. Yes, please. All right, fair enough. Uh, you walk over there and you can see there's been like um, many... Well, it hasn't really been touched right now. They've wanted to keep it quite pristine how it was. As you clearly know, the car isn't there, but... There's been a few images hung up, a few family portraits, things like that. Um, anything that was left out by the charity box in regards to flowers has been brought in here as well. So there's a quite p sweet aroma. And bear in mind the actual uh, makeup of uh, Crater City, it's usually quite rare to get flowers, but seeing this many does put into perspective just how much Sadie was appreciated in the league as a whole. Okay. I investigate Uh, What are you investigating for? Um, lose. Okay. Four. To say okay. that, like, outside source. An outside. 
Yeah. So just anything that seems slightly off. Yeah. Uh, fair enough then. Uh, tell you what, give me a fury roll. Okay. I believe that is a success. So, you sort of take some time looking around uh, Sadie's paddock. You don't see anything immediately that jumps out to you. Um, you start looking through some of the drawers, even though a few people uh, like give you a bit of a weird look. Um, sometimes people come over and are like, asking what you're doing, but you don't really pay them too much mind because, you know, you're here on a good reason. So, I'm sure there's no uh, ramification for this, but you start going through all of his personal belongings and you don't find anything, so you then begin to take a look at some of the other items that have been brought in. Uh, on one of the bouquets of flowers, funnily enough, you see a load of messages that are often just about uh, sharing their condolences. Um, one of them, uh, you happen to notice it, on a sort of bouquet of um, orange flowers, like almost like an orange rose with uh, daffodils. Um, on that, there is a small message that says, I'm sorry I failed you, M. Ooh. Is that it? That's the only thing in the actual paddock itself that seems to be strange. But you have an initial, and I'm sure maybe you could find something from there. Just one letter? Uh, one letter. Nothing else? It's something, okay? <laughs> you know, it's not like I just have okay. to fucking make something up in about ten minutes, on a grand fucking scale. Um... Yeah, <laughs> what, what do you want from me here? <laughs> like, I... just get it's better. in the morning! <laughs> it's like 9am, and even I'm trying to solve a fucking mystery! Do a fucking race! <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, oh, but then just a letter. <laughs> Whoa, fuck you, there's another letter there, it's B. MB. Yeah, MB, two initials, imagine that. Right. Are you happy mm. now? Sure. Michael. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a child. Oh. I'm gonna start calling people Michael now. <laughs> <laughs> you just gonna quit from Michael and see what happens. Yeah. Uh, it's on right turns. Oh god. I might, I might, you know, get it right, and someone be like, "Oh, someone's called my name." And I was like, "Huh? It's your surname begin with a B." You're just gonna call out for MB all the time, and someone's like, "Why are you? Why are you apologizing?" <laughs> no, no, I won't say that. I oh, just say MB. I need to speak with you. Fine. Would you like to approach the hangar and actually go in? Yeah. Uh, through the front. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, right. Uh, you see the charity box there. Do you do anything with it? Uh, he's looking. Uh, no one is. It's just a hologram there crying. Just walk past. It cries even louder as you go by. Um, it's now at the point of crying, but even it's when like you shut the door, thing. you can hear it slightly. Yeah, it's like a little hologram just in the corner. It's just like the real Sadie cried. Yeah, I know. Imagine. I know, imagine. Uh, yeah, probably cried when, uh, you know, their body um, burned up and then... You know, got atomized by the uh, gravity rip, but you know. Yeah, yeah, it was sad. It was a painful death. We get it. Yeah, yeah, probably a really sad and painful death, man. Imagine yeah, yeah, uh, and the family. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I mean, one of them is only twelve. Uh, either way, um, <laughs> you are now in the hangar. Uh, you know where all uh, Kerrigan's office would be if you do need to contact them, as they will be your contact for coming up with the races. But you also have your cars there as well, if you ever want to do a check with them, since it has been a few weeks, maybe you need to do a quick uh, maintenance job. Um, I need to look into that cable. Okay, you want yeah. to take a look into the cable, since even with the two weeks that you were told to fix it, you didn't fix it. Obviously not, if it's still there. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Um, Just do a theory check. Oh, and probably... also I need oh, I clean the bus and... That won't be a check. You can just, you can just clean the button. You get a rag out, and oh, that is a critical success. Alrighty, um, yeah. So here's what happens. You go about, you go about um tying up the cable. What you realize is that oh wait, this is just a gravity cable. I just need to tuck that back in and uh, put in a bit of tape, and then just uh, solder it a tiny bit more. So then you uh, are able to attach that. One thing that does catch you by surprise, though. You're looking at the electronics of the actual car itself and seeing how everything operates on a system basis, and you notice that there's a strange error that, keep, that keeps coming up. Um, something you haven't come up with before, but 
you're able to quell it and you're pretty glad you did before the race was that probably could have um quite severely impacted your ability to be rigid let's call it sabotage uh, you don't know sabotage sabotage <laughs> i think i know who did it again <laughs> It was Steven all along. Um, it was Steven. <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't fucking blame him at this point. Like, he would put it up there here with our shit. I just scream, yeah. Steven. <laughs> Do you? See if he comes. I definitely just see you scream, Steven. Yeah, you just hear him go, Steven! I'm like, oh, okay, there's my guy. Yep. Um, after about a minute, you, you, like, you, you hear a huff, then you, about a minute, and then you see um, Karagun coming out of the office, uh, just tapping the ear and like, All right, yep, yeah, or uh, hey guys, what's up? Um, How are y'all doing? Y'all okay? Can I have some barbecue milk? There's a tab, there's a tablet right on the wall there. You can go to that and you can book it yourself, I think, because I've taught you how to use it. So, you know, it's there for you. Hey, enough of the lip. Well, I, I'm just telling you, I... Did you get rested? Because I got some things to tell you when it comes to a race that, are, that you all are doing uh, tomorrow. I think... Oh, no, hold on. Before we get into that. Oh, God. I think I might have been sabotaged. What do you mean? There was um a couple of errors on my ship, which weren't there before. Right. Oh, okay. Um... Are they still on that right now? Because we could take a look at that and see where it came from. Or did you already fix it? I I think I fixed it, but can we just double ah, check? Shit. Get some people to double check. Uh, okay, yeah, sure. I'll um get security uh to tighten up again. Uh oh, fucking vigil. That's been the downside of all this as well. Like obviously it's a fucking travesty, but there's been a lot more foot traffic than usual, so our uh, tighter knit uh, community is a bit easier to get through right now. I apologize if that might happen. I'll, I'll, I'll get the uh, mechanics on that and see if they can trace something. Get some engineers. Um, do you know what it did, maybe? Uh, no. Right, okay. I uh, walk off shit. and go get some milk. I, oh, 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 okay. Um, I see one right. here as well. I just yeah. watched them do this. <laughs> yeah, but, like, Karagun just sort of turns to you and shrugs like, did I do something wrong there? Uh, nice. Fucking insane. Look, you should probably take the milk out of that, by the way. It's probably not good. What, I'm what an do you addict. Mean? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean it's not good? It's, uh, it's probably poison. Oh. Um, oh, oh, uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, sure. Uh, I'll. He, he sort of like goes about uh, tapping on his tablet and then he makes another call as well. Like, uh, yeah, I think we need to uh, get rid of the uh, barbiturin milk. Uh, just any order from uh, Pablo. Just uh, make sure you deny it, please. Um, Pablo, <laughs> as you go to the tablet, it switches off. I just, I just start screaming and swelling. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh. <laughs> no, you don't. You just start screaming. <laughs> I just, Stephen, get your ass over here. I. <laughs> It'll come up back up later. It just ha does every now and then. It's a system restart. Just give it a few hours. I. You can just turn to peer pressure again, Steven. What? No. No. Right, right, Klein? Yeah, I'd, look, I I didn't tell him nothing. I'm just trying to talk to him. Yeah, no, we're I getting need... ready for a race. Can, can you come over? We need to talk about race. I need some goddamn milk. Well, maybe, I... maybe just give him one more. Maybe just give him one more and then he'll show you sort of see them push something behind their back and the screen comes on. Uh, very static Evo is the only thing. Uh, it's a bit hard to try and order it. Uh, can I have you roll a um, chaos check? Oh god. <laughs> and we need to roll below for a chaos check. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> um, comes out green. <laughs> yeah, no, you, you order milk, but it's just uh, plain uh, cow milk. Uh, it comes out from the um, hovering um, droid that has a high, a medium, and a low as it gets to you. Um, this thing, this milk is distinctly less chunky, and the tablet Fine. shorts out. That's good. That's good. It's not. It's not 
the other milk, it's just normal cow milk. That's good. Unless cows are, are, are in the bin in this universe. Uh, are are cows mean, in the bin? That what you're saying to me, Clyde? Are cows in the bin in this universe? Are cows uh, in the bin? It's a bovine milk. I English? just drink it reluctantly. Bovine? <laughs> Yeah, bovine. It's uh, you know, it, it's from a cattle. Um, yeah. It's probably fine. I'm not even drinking it. Yeah, well, it, it's not the bitch with milk. Cats. <laughs> 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 yeah, you drink. You drink your milk. I'm gonna have to bring in my own supply next time. He, ma well, maybe. While he's doing this, while he's doing mm -hmm. this, because he said he got subbed out, can I just look at my machine? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, are you doing it as a chaotic or a theory check? Chaotic. Okay, tell me how you're doing it chaotically. Uh, I just instant. walk over, I, I just walk over, I just kind of look at the car, and I just think from my past, I think, if I was to try and fuck with this machine, this big behemoth mm -hmm. machine, where would I fuck it up with? Mm-hmm. Fair enough then. Uh, give me a roll, and roll for, roll for chaos then. Very well, roll for chaos. Just don't roll a six. Perfect. Uh, yep. You take a decent look over your machine, and uh, you generally find that nothing seems to have stuck out on yours. Uh, everything seems to have been fine. The only thing that you make a mental note of later is just uh, scrubbing off where the mod was last time. Like, you just need to scrub that bit, give it another look at paint. Then that's fine. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, your machine is perfectly fine. Still, the good orange is meant to be, and all systems are nominal. Great. But, uh, yeah, no, uh, you take a ch uh, check over that, and... Um, Karakun is just sort of standing there, just waiting. Like oh, they're yeah. holding, they're holding, they're holding a remote, very much ready to do a presentation for everyone here. But they, they haven't had the opportunity to really get you all to sit down since they've been a milk fiasco, primarily taking up the entirety of a very important time. I'd say this will probably take about an hour to get done with the amount of screaming you did, but you know, fuck it. Um, yeah. Uh, he just sort of stands there, like, well, um, are we good to? Uh, brief? Yeah, I was just checking the m machine because of the Sabo while he was okay, doing yeah. that. You know, that's fair. Uh, I'm going to have the mechanics take a look over all of it anyway, but no, that's uh, very fair. Damn stupid milk. Stupid I, cheap I'm, I'm sorry, Pablo, but, you know, things are a bit rough right now because, you know, things are a bit unusual, okay? We can get you coming way back. <laughs> but you also heard some bad things about milk, but I don't know. Do your own research. Um, Anyway, come on over. Um, they sort of start going you over to where you were sat down last time before when it came to uh, debriefing for a race. Uh, you each take uh, your seats respectfully, unless you want to be weird and do something else with sitting. As a, um, as basically a large holographic, holographic board comes up with a large layout for a race. Um, Carrigan then begins to explain the race, and just beforehand taking a um, bit of a drink, because it's going to be a long one. Alright, so, the race we got here, um... It's on a uh, unnamed planet, so it, it's a bit strange when it comes to it. It's probably one of the least developed races we got, but it's on a swampy island uh, area kind of thing. So, the key thing about this is that you've got a lot of uh, trees actually on the track, because we don't have a paved area, it's just more of a light barriers are there. So, when it comes to this race, you got to be careful about the actual elevation of your car and how it jumps over the land. That's going to be a key factor that you've got to mitigate. Uh, there's also uh, large water areas, but the engines should be fine across water. You just got to make sure you don't lose power over that, and then you're fine. Um, as I said before, the trees could be an issue, but a lot of them you can probably just plow down. However, you still need to keep a watch for the ones you need to dodge. Uh, that's basically the most about the planet I can offer you, but aside from the few sharp turns, it's not too much difficulty in the actual layout of the track. It's just much more the obstacles within it that might be of difficulty. Um, that is a bit generally our idea. We're probably going to be starting the race around 12.37 uh, tomorrow uh, in the PM period. So, make sure you are all ready for that and that you are all, uh, you know, fed and ready. Now, with that being said, any other questions about this? I have a question. Yep. Do you know someone with the initials MB? Um, no. Next. I, my, my question was actually about the race. Yep. Yeah, no, that's great. Please, I, tell me. Since I have such a big vehicle and we're going through a very treed area, will I actually be able to fit through? Um, if you can't fit through, you'll plow through. 
Uh, a lot of trees are pretty weak when it comes to it, because bear in mind, you're growing a thousand miles per hour. Um, right. You're probably going to be fine. So there's a few that are a bit more mutated and have grown to a larger degree. Um, there's still unconfirmed reports of even life in those, but eh, oh well. Um, but yeah. Mutated ones. Yeah, How just avoid the big also? mutated. Uh, water I... isn't too deep, but it's enough to that if your engine got wet, it would cause a bit of an issue. So as long as your power's on, you'll be fine. But, uh, yeah, that's the key thing about this, uh, race. We don't have a flat ground, so you might be a bit bumpy as a ride. Okay. So, unless there's any other questions about that and anything else that you want to ask me about, even though I'm not a racer, I'm just the guy relaying the information. Uh, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Sunan is still unavailable for the uh, time being, so I will still be your coordinator. When will we be able to talk to her? Uh, I do hope soon, it's just that unfortunately due to a lot of the company's business and the unfortunate events of recent uh, public appearances, let alone appearances, are rare and uh, often filled with a bit of misfortune when it comes to the amount of press that is about. As you may know, Sunan is a... I work for. Indeed, uh, I hope that one day you will. Uh, she is a lovely lady, truly, uh, quite inspirational. Um, I respect her dearly, but... With that all being said and done, hopefully we will meet her soon. Um, aside from that, though, any other questions? Yeah, with what you just said, why don't you match make a Steve and, and Sunan? Anyway, I hope all of you will be best when it comes to racing. I'm going to go to my office. And he fucks all right. off. Not Bye, feeling the chemistry. <laughs> no, not feeling? No, not feeling it. I'm sure the way you said she was a great lady is. You don't feel anything there? That's admiration, not that. <laughs> so if oh, you hate yeah. each other, it's good. If you don't hate each other, it's bad. You just gotta have a keen eye to these things, okay? Yeah, but your key eye. It's a, it's a trained keen eye. Uh, tell you what, can I have a, can I have a um, disadvantaged chaos check from um, from Klein? I want to see if you notice something. Oh yeah. He's blushing yeah. underneath. How do I do the disadvantage of it? Roll of what? Uh, just roll two of them and take your highest number. He's, he blushed when he talks about her. Huh? Oh. Uh, it's not actually about that, but you sort of find yourself looking over Pablo, and you find it mildly alarming, but you appear to find an object that is on their hip. Um, It looks awfully like something that could be used to harm someone. Wait, is this me not seeing the gun? It's probably mm. a gun. Just, you don't start to notice it and you're like, wait a second. Just as you're talking, you sort of like look down and you sort of like take a, you know, you take a bit of a mind picture of your actual uh, fellow racer, and you just notice that maybe Pablo has a gun. What? That Pablo? Um, I just cover my coat over it. Why do you have that? One's got to protect himself. I you never know you. what might happen out there. Have, have, you, have you never been under legal fire before? It happens all the time. Well, you never know. These trees sound dangerous, man. I was under legal yeah, fire for two weeks to get a gun. Jesus Christ. Um, there was also it's another not point. Illegal. It's not illegal. Nah, it's not illegal. Are guns illegal? Should it's I know if guns are illegal? It's not illegal. There are conditions, and usually guns are not allowed in the hangar. Right, so that is illegal. I say usually. So you, just, you don't know the circumstances. my safety. For your safety? Yes. You have and heard you of the, the um... Yeah, you have heard of different amendments and things like that, and different clauses in the law, and you know... Yeah. Alright. Do you have ammo for that? Why would I carry a gun with no ammo? <laughs> oh, I mean, it's you! Oh, you're right. That does... Pablo, roll me a d6. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Look what you've done, Clark. Just, just roll me a d6. I just want to see. You have five bullets in the gun. One of them's always unloaded because that's how you do with um, revolvers. Because if you have all of them loaded in, there's a chance you might shoot yourself in the foot. And it's better for Russian roulette. Exactly, yes. What the hell? Well, yeah. 
All you know, right. you got five chambers loaded. Moving on from the gun, uh, I actually got given a business proposition for us. Do you want to some money? All right, I'll have some money. Oh some yeah, um, world. hold on guys, really quick. Sorry, I, I just remembered, got a call from Sunan. Um, get podium, okay? Get podium? Again? Yeah, no, you did it last time. I'm sure you can do it this time. All right, that'll be all. Bye. What do you mean? Oh, he's killed that man. <laughs> Again. So we're supposed to get podium whenever it has upgraded vehicles. Yes, we need to go upgrade those. That was actually my next point. But the, but the it just if you want some extra money, just don't hit anyone at all ever. You can block, just don't hit anyone at all ever. Simple extra money. Okay. Incredible. We should go upgrade our vehicles right now, even. Do you think you can handle that, Clyde? I mean, you can do a lot for money. Um, but yes, I cannot hit people for money. Alright. Now, uh, yeah. when it comes to the uh, mechanic, uh, Fienard does have its own uh, mechanic system, actually, built in with your uh, paddock. So, if it comes to finding a mechanic, it's very simple. Um, just out of curiosity as well, how many volts do you have each? Um, Eleven. Okay. I have... Five. Okay. I believe I. If you go into a system, you would find a relatively friendly um, Vina operable interface, and when you go to upgrade, you do find that when it comes to upgrading an aspect of your vehicle, it will take 15 volts. Yeesh. Did Wait, you see both to get podium or just one of us? Uh. He just said get podium, so it's probably one or the other. Uh, sorry, let me just double check that. I need to check if it is 15. Um, might be 13 or 12. I can't fully remember. Just give me a moment. I thought I remember it being 15. Uh, I can't in full remember. I'm not going to lie. There's some things I forget. I do apologize, but... Uh, just with the going rate, it's... Yeah, it is 15. Yeah, it is 15. So, you could put vaults together for now to get an upgrade, but yeah. Alright, if we put vaults together, do you want it? Uh, sorry, I don't mind. Because if we put vaults together, we have a better chance of doing this, and then the other person will just take the other person's share if we don't bump or whatever and just pay back later. I mean, yeah, if we upgrade one of us and then the other person gets the vaults at the end of the match. Mm. Well, the other person's vaults, that makes sense. I'm four off. So if you just give me four, or it, would we upgrade you? How many vaults you... will we get from this, from not hitting anyone? I think it's four. Also, um, Klein, because you're quite aptitude with this, you do notice a um, blackjack mini game on the um, tablet. A blackjack mini? I know that exactly how we're gonna. I know how exactly <laughs> how we're gonna get the money for this. And that I go straight up to that blackjack <laughs> machine. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, with this, you see basically a pixelized version of Carrigan uh, sort of dishing out cards. Um, how many volts are you putting in? Since uh, what this is that uh, if you do win, you'll basically get um, a 1.5 times return. 11. You put oh, 11. Okay, so <laughs> you're going to get 5 volts just to be on the low end. Uh, roll me 2d10. No, I'll, I'll, if, if that's the point, I'll just put 10 in. Okay, fair enough. Uh, roll me... Um, I mean, we can't technically... Actually, wait. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Before you roll, before you roll. Fuck, isn't there a clause in like Blackjack where it's like, it's an 11 or something if it's an ace? Uh, yeah, if, if, if you roll an ace, it's a 1 or a 10. Oh, if it was an 11, because, you know, you can still technically go... Oh, no, on. yeah, a black... It, it, it's an 11 or a 1, sorry. It's a, it's 11 or a 1. Alright, uh, roll a d11. Uh, two times. Roll... Uh, no, can you... d11? Uh, yeah. Um... I... I need to do this as a private roll, don't I? I do. What the fuck do I do as a private roll? I actually don't know. Um... Fuck. Um... Oh, I'm I'm fucking up. Uh, all right. Oh. Uh, okay. Uh, give me a moment. Oh. I need to open up. Um, I need to open up my ten candles stuff so I can roll <laughs> in there. Uh, just give me a moment since I kind of forgot how to um do a private <laughs> roll. Yeah, I kind I kind of forgot <laughs> that part. I don't do private rolls. Um, okay, hold on a second. Um, okay, let me just launch this game really quickly. Uh, cheese, no, roll dice. I roll do. I don't have a D11. That doesn't exist. Oh. Fair, fair enough, I guess. Oh dear, alright. It's not a bad apparently, roll. Apparently you don't have a deck of cards, either. Alright, stick- uh, you sticking, or what? Um... 
I wouldn't hit. I would not, not, don't do that. Well, right now I have an 8 or an 18. If I hit, it goes either up to 18 or something slightly below it. If I roll low end, it puts me in prime position. I was um, just going to give a PSA. Um, I do not condone uh, gambling to excess. Please gamble responsibly. So I do. I the condone gambling. The highest card you can take. Highest is 21. Dealer has to stick on 18. If he rolls on average. Stick. You can stick. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm gonna pick another card. Uh, give me a moment. I'm gonna lose all my money. It's gonna be great. I, I think you should have hit. To I'm be losing all my money. Add five volts to your balance. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm so good at gambling. <laughs> you now have what? Sixteen volts. Oh yeah, I have sixteen. Oh my god. <laughs> all right, you've gambled, and there is a sad Carrigan, and you just hear it from the office. Fuck. <laughs> Take an L, Carrigan. Oh Fuck you, Clan. Don't ever try that again! Come on, one more match! Alright, what for? Alright, uh, double or nothing. Oh. Sure. <laughs> okay, I, I, again. I'm fighting with double or nothing. Fuck it, bro. Wait, how much is double or nothing? Is that 10? Uh, okay, so... Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck, how should we do this then? So let's say, um... Fuck, okay, how are we gonna do this then? Um, like, okay, what are you putting in? Because, let, let's say it was a double nothing shit, right? I, I, like, bear in mind, you're putting in, like, 10 last time, so... This is just, if you fail this, you're gonna be, like, you're gonna be cleared out, what but let's... If I, if I fail this, I go... Out. I go down to 6? Yeah, sure. but if you win, you get... But if I win this, like, I go up to 21. Yeah. So it's 6 to 21. I right, thought you got 26. No, right. because I won the first double on I won the first yeah. one, so now I'm the double or nothing. Okay, fuck it. Roll roll your D11s. Um, <laughs> fucking hell, I can't. Can we get a 10 goal. and an 11? That would be just great. Yeah. yeah. Cool. I think I'll hit. Because, uh, uh, okay, roll it. 1D11. Hey, that's one. Ah, uh, a bust. No, wait, can it not be a one? Oh, it can. It can be two. It can be two ones. Mm, so, so it can be seventeen. So I am. In, so I'm on seven. Otherwise, I'm in the bin. Or I can want eighteen. Damn, two two aces. That never happens. Yeah, imagine that. Kind of getting very lucky. Okay, so we're going about eleven and okay. one. Very well. Um. Oh. That. So. Wait, is that? Nah. Hold on. Sixteen. Uh, seven. You bust. Uh, yeah. no, it's not bust. Oh, well. We use both elevens as ones. If we use both elevens as one, it's. Oh, well. okay, fair. But I, I didn't know if you like needed to actually declare that at the start or something. Sorry, I'm not a no. gambler, okay? <laughs> like. Uh, I am. I just, I'm failed. I, I'm sad I got oh, it wrong. Fucking hell. Okay, what, no. what did you roll then? What did you get? I am on twelve. The optimal okay. roll is nine. Ten or eleven is bust. Eight or seven is pretty good. Anything lower is pretty bad. A one okay. or two is pretty good because I might want to hit again. Oh god, just roll it. That's pretty good. I think I'll stick even on uh, okay. 18 again. Okay, uh, I don't know what the fuck oh I'm doing, so uh, let's see. Um... Gamble, 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 gamble. Gambling. Gamble. Gambling. Gamble. 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 Uh, uh, hold on, let me do the math really quick. No, he didn't. He didn't roll 21. He's, he's got 21. He didn't. He's bad. It's Carrigan. Yeah, I can't use Carrigan. You hear just some whooping. Oh, no. <laughs> What do, you, what do you roll? Can I can I ask what he rolled? Uh, I rolled a um, you know, just for the sake of it, I rolled a three, an eight, a five, and a five. Oh, what? A twenty-one. What are those? A twenty-one. Rigged. It's rigged. I, 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 I can't go help again. it. My veto. Go again. My veto. Go again. You got one. I got no. one. Go again. No, you're at six votes now. Fuck you. Again. Go again, go again, go again, go again, go again, go again. <laughs> no, we're not. I, I pull Klein away. <laughs> I can only do one more anyway. I can literally only do one more anyway. And then I can't do any more after that. So money. you're at six one volts, more. so you're putting another five volts. Yeah, I'm putting another five in. <laughs> Triple or nothing, no. let's go these. Okay. <laughs> okay, so you're at six volts, you're now going down to one volt. If you fuck us up, this is, uh, okay. Um, we're fucking 11. This is awful. Just roll 2d11 again. Oh my fucking god, why did I have this? <laughs> I love gambling so much. Why'd you put this in the game? Give me uh, you asked a me to! Number. Why do I keep getting 11s? That's 16 mm. or 6. I think That's the same starting again. as last time. It is, but this time I'm gonna roll something better, smile. Yeah? 
Hmm. And it's, it's not it's not much better. So six that goes 14? to a twelve. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, fourteen. Yeah, sorry. My maths has been seven or less. <laughs> seven or uh, less. The the odd. Yeah, this is pace gambling as well. So you know. That's the odds are with me. That's mm -hmm. like Let's high seventy percent. I so just just, oh, just for clarity. Yeah. Uh, th I'm I've lost. This is this is this is an L, definitely. I mean, are you sticking or? No, I have to. I have to go again. I can't stick on fourteen. Okay. Yeah, oh, no. that's an E gel. Yeah, you're at one time. Yeah, the league! Let's go! <laughs> we lost it all! We traded it! Let's you're, go! You're at one vote. <laughs> Let's go! I'll do it again. I'll do it next <laughs> race. <laughs> God, no. The machine, the, the machine locks you out saying you've had too many attempts. Um, <laughs> you, you, like, hey, you can see... You can see... Uh, you, you, you can see from like the fucking office of Karakun is in like the window, he's just smiling. Hey, GG bro. Yeah, he just puts a thumbs up and then just like does a little money symbol. I'll get you next time. Yeah, yeah, sure. Son of a oh, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I had fun though. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Why did Why I do this? The upgrades? Um, <laughs> sorry, I, I saw the gambling and kind of got focused on the gambling. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I don't know, crits. Something like sorry. that. Sorry. Sorry. I, 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 I kind of have, have a problem. Uh, honestly, oh, I, I don't know how gamble. people can be addicted to I anything. I don't remember anything that just happened for like the past five minutes. What are we doing? We're upgrading, right? <laughs> I just walk away. What just happened? Where's my money? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck. Can <laughs> I just walk away? They hit Warden. <laughs> so, you can't get shit. The brief is over. Are you now just leaving the hangar? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, fair enough. You walk by the charity box yet again as you start leaving. Uh, anything you want to do with the races or? I can't. You want to just sit there? <laughs> <laughs> I mean... you, you want to try and gamble with a hologram now? Huh? <laughs> oh, I love gambling. This is so fun. I mean, you see the hologram oh, crying there as well. Like, it, it's bleeding up to you and pointing towards like the box as well. Like, it's now really trying to get you to like donate something. Oh, um, bro! What? I just lost all my money. I can't do anything. You need to roll, you know, just for the hell of it, can you roll a chaos check? That is disadvantage. <laughs> I'm trying to make her give money to you. <laughs> just for the hell of it, chaos check disadvantage. Okay, I just closed it. I closed the tab actually. Oh god, fucking hell. <laughs> she, she'll give I you a know that if, money. I won the, if I won the double or nothing, I would have gone again. <laughs> god shit. I, I, I shouldn't have done this, man. I should not have fucking done this. Why do you. Oh, critical success. Uh, ew. Oh, I just did lunch, but oh, fuck it, it's fine. Um, a thought pops she in your mind. The box. A, a thought pops in your mind. The box isn't locked. How much is in it? You don't know. Is anyone looking? I mean, I mean, Pablo is. It's the holog. Can I turn off the hologram? Um. Do a roll like that. You find a small button by the side of the hologram. I turn that off, I take the money. <laughs> Alright, fuck no, give me a moment. Um, Just give me a second, I need to double check. Since there is a conversion rate from crits to volts, I will say that. Yeah, it's, it's, isn't it 2k volts for one crit? I believe so. so uh, yeah, sorry, uh, 2k crits for one crit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, there's 8,000 crits in there. Shush! Take. Yoink. Alright. Skyrim. Um, Skyrim, yoink. Pablo, you <laughs> also notice. Uh, actually, before you do that, I will say, you do notice that there's a camera up above. I did, why wasn't... When I before said I looked at many things there... Yeah, sorry, I will say before you... Yeah, I, I forgot to mention that, but before you go to steal it, I will say that, you know, we'll just go back a tiny bit. You do notice there's a camera looking at the box. Is the camera moving? Uh, it moves slightly. Is but... there a blind spot? No, uh, you don't think so? Uh, however... Do... Oh, this, this, would I know where the camera goes to? Would I know there's like a centralized security or does it go to each team's own respective place? Like, would that go to Carrigan or would that go to a generalized security held? 
Uh, that camera, bear in mind, it is Phenol's area. It's very likely to be in a box by Kerrigan's office. Um... Like, chances are, the security system will filter through Kerrigan's office, put it that way. Why don't Why don't you just take some of the money? Do you have anything on you? Tablet, no, you have literally if, anything no, in your box. If you just take some of the money, it looks like you're going to put in money. They don't actually know how much is in there. You have literally anything in your pocket. Nothing which I want to give you. <laughs> Alright, so I have a fedora, right? Can we just put the fedora on the camera? <laughs> can I just walk and leave? I don't want to <laughs> you, be involved with this. You can definitely walk and leave. Is there anything you want to do in regards to, like, um... I don't know. So, like, bear in mind as well, you're in the, like, actual hangar area yourself. If you want to take a look at, like, any other races, get an idea of what's happening in its race, you most certainly can. Um... <laughs> is... is... Attacks in the next race? Um, you could definitely take a look for it. Uh, you don't really know... Yeah, you don't know really what team they're in, but... Uh, give me a theory roll. And uh, while you're doing that, uh, Klein, how are you going about putting the fedora on? And oh, okay. Um, okay, how are you going about putting the fedora on? Just so I know. So we're currently standing in the camera's yeah. line of sight, yeah. You're currently in view of the camera, yes. I just pretend to like see something in a camera's blind spot underneath it and go like pick it up and just take my fedora off and just put it over the lens of the camera. Okay, so you sort of toss it over the camera. Okay, uh, you do a chaos check then. Um, I don't reach the camera. Uh, so what I'm saying is that, bear in mind, this is an action for you to try and conceal yourself from stealing from a charity. Yeah. I think that deserves a roll. Yeah, but can I still, like, is it, is it high enough to where I can reach it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can put I'll the hat do... over. Okay, I'll do the Yeah, so, uh, roll the check. And, uh, Pablo, you personally do not see ATX anywhere. I failed, right? Yeah, that's a fail. Uh, for Fury Check, you need to roll lower. That is a very high number. But yeah, no, you're trying to look through a crowd of people. You can't really see anything. Like, you see a lot of people moving to each of their different hangars, but you can't tell which hangars are live with activity for a race or ones that are live from coming back from a race. It, it's a bit more difficult to really see, and you can't really find the person you're looking for. Um, Klein, with that roll, you, as you sort of like, uh, pretend to like, walk away, see outside of the camera, you definitely get your fedora and just, uh, flick it backwards, and it lands on the camera. What, what I wanted to do is with the fedora over the camera, I just wanted to, like, hold the front of the camera and just, like, move it away from the box. Oh, okay. Uh, sure, yeah, you can, you can force a rotor to, like, turn a bit. Yeah, like, move it into the wall. Yeah, 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 sure. So I can take my fedora back without uh, letting sure. Team have little hands. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll, I'll see. Yeah, go yeah. yeah, take the money. Yep, you take eight thousand for it. Oh, beautiful. I leave. All right. Bear in mind, you can convert them to vaults. You just need to go to a vault conversion area, yeah, which is so in the I, hangar. I only, I only lost, um, I only, I only lost like seven now instead of eleven or ten you or whatever. Have, you could have had more. Oh, but imagine the RNG was on my slide, dude! Oh. God, I, God, I should not be able to gamble. I should, I not, should not be allowed to gamble. You asked for this, okay? Let it be known. This motherfucker asked for gambling, so I put I in did. gambling. I said, do you want rollies? I, he said, no, I want blackjack, okay? I want blackjack, dude. Yeah, so you got blackjack and hookers, okay? It's just like my real time when I went blackjacking. I lost it all. Oh, God, fucking hell. How much was that, AK? Uh, was that 8k? Yeah, 8,000 crits. Bro, 15k crits, one vault to my name. <laughs> yeah. I may not be able to upgrade my vehicle, but I got hella cash, and isn't that what's important? If you want to convert your crits, you can, but just remember, you cannot convert from vaults to crits. There's only crits to vaults. Right. Oh dear, but yeah, uh, you catch up with uh, Pablo, who's sort of just standing there looking over the hangar. What's she looking at? Just looking at who's racing. Hey, well, we need to leave, like, right now. <laughs> Why? Just, um... I've got stuff to do, if you don't mind. Okay. We leave. Incredible. <laughs> You're just gonna leave very well. <laughs> Can we leave through not the front? <laughs> you wanna leave through the back? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll leave through the front. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, I'll meet you around there, I guess. Are you gonna meet up, or are you just gonna fuck off Pablo or Klein? Uh, can I go look for something to do with this 15k? Or do you want that to may or may not crits? involve more gambling. Oh, fucking god. Are you going to gamble again? Perhaps. Sadly, it's a Sunday and all <laughs> casinos and closed are on a Sunday. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no. It, 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 it's, a, it's a holy Sunday. Um, you know, praise be the uh, great uh, spaghetti monster. Um, sun, uh, Sunday's gambling usually doesn't happen unless you have a private machine. No fun. Oh, what a shame. You guys are no fun. I just want to gamble. Come on. Look, all I'm saying is you have a fucking black market contract. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> do we? Gregory. We have black market contract? Do we? Something? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> if you want to gamble that fucking hard, I'm sure you know someone who could help you. Uh, can I ring Samson? You can. Oh my god. <laughs> now, Pablo, are you like trying to meet up with Klein? <laughs> like, you sort of, like you sort of stand up in front and you just he hasn't come through yet. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna answer the questions which people are asking out front. Alright, fair enough. Yeah, you, you get a lot of questions like about your general involvement with Sadie and um, you know, whether there was like a love triangle um, that was rumoured to have happened. Uh, you get triangle. asked. Love you, you get more. asked. Yeah, yeah. They, they're sort of like, I, I, I. I well, I, I thought you were going to tell us about that because, as you probably know, there's been a lot of things uh, being talked about Sadie and the possible raucous uh, behaviour with uh, Klein. Uh, could you, uh, you could, could you elaborate more on that? Sorry, who does this love triangle involve? Uh, I believe it is a uh, Sadie, a uh, Klein, and a. Um, uh, we don't have a name, but it was another unidentified male. Did that name start with an M? Uh, we were unable to uh, determine. Hmm. Maybe a Michael. We anyway. cannot reveal our sources. Well, I'll give you a little bit of inside information. Yeah? Alright, come close, microphone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh... I felt a little bit of a connection between, uh... Klein and a Sadie, if you get what I mean. A little bit of a love spark. Everyone just goes, oh! You can't be serious, dude. You can't be serious. <laughs> this is how you're spending your time while being investigated. The crowd <laughs> erupts with so many questions now. Yeah. I, must be able, I must be able to hear some of this. Yeah, you hear, like, you hear, like, the voices, like, just generally going on, then get louder. Yeah, but it's just a real... Is... Yeah, then all of, then uh, Samson picks up and goes, All right, Klein, how you doing? Need any help there? Um, first job, when you said you'd buy me drinks. What? Well, you when we first met, you said you want to go out for a night and buy drinks. Right, yeah. Uh, shit, I forgot about that. Um, look, I'm a little bit busy right now. Um, oh, I, I, I intended you to be busy with the whole Gravity Rep League thing. Just... Yeah, I wanted to make a date. Yeah, no, uh, let, let's put a date in then. Uh, let's think. Uh, so, you probably, I know you got your race coming up tomorrow. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Mm hmm. Tell you what, meet me up on the uh, Thursday and uh, we'll get a chat in, yeah? Right. And um, right. I had a question about the uh, underbelly of this place. All oh, right, yeah, yeah, the uh, legal shit, right? Yeah, I, I, I don't know anything about it. Uh, is there a guy I go talk to you might be able to help me? Uh, yeah, I could probably uh, fish up a few uh, contacts for you. Uh, you know, friends via council and all. Um, got some decent fellas out there. Okay. You, you need I a name right now, up. or? If, if you have one right now, I'll take one. Uh, right, okay. Uh, shit, let me think. Um, da -da -da, da -da -da. uh, yeah. Uh, I tell you what. Got a uh, bloke, um, he goes by, um, oh, what's his fucking name, uh, he owns, like, the, uh, oh, what's it called, um, Moment Brevity Garage, uh, if you go there, you'll be solid. Uh, Moment ask, Brevity Garage? Yeah, Moment Brevity, uh, ask for a, so just, just say the, the Widow Knox, alright? Alright, thanks, man. Alright, no problem. See Anything you. else? Do I, no, do I'm I good. see Klein? Out back. 
Uh, you can go out back here. As a, do I do I see Klein there? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Also, uh, Klein, could you um? Sorry, I I don't know why I just fucking blanked up for a moment. Could you tell me what I told you the name was? Yes. Moment's brevity. Moment brevity. Moment yeah, brevity. Moment, moment, moment's brevity. Gotcha. Yeah. I also blanked. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, Dorian, that's close enough. Yep. Um, Willow that knocks. The Willow or Widow? Willow. Okay. You know, so uh, that is a garage that you've been told about that could potentially help you. Uh, then, like, sort of sandwiches says, or right, anything else you need, mate? <clears throat> um, can I pay for a hit? Oh. Not on someone's life. No, not the. Oh. Uh, I, I, it's not that adventurous. Just, um. Just a hit on someone's house, really. So, a burglary? Yeah, essentially. Alright, uh, what are you looking for then? Uh, what, just like stealing random shit or what? Um, I swear to God, if you're stealing my milk. <laughs> <laughs> Something easy, preferably. Alright, well, Not you got a name. No connections, no ties, just a completely random person. Police love that. Wait, so you just want a random ear on some geezer? Yeah, preferably. As long as I get some return. I'm... I mean, usually you do a hit to, you know, fuck up someone's reputation. It's not really a return kind of thing. Uh... Like, if you want to go rob someone, you probably should do it yourself. That's where most of the cash comes from. You're the supplier, mate. Yeah, I did word this wrong, didn't I? Yeah, so tell you what, do you want a specific target to fuck over with a burglary, or do you know someone who has a lot of rich shit? I know a lady who has... Uh, very wealthy. She's my boss. Right, okay, what's the name? Uh, it was like something beginning with an M and then Suzanne. Melora Sunan? Yeah. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> You're fucking joking, right? Well, not her specifically, her underling. Well, no, oh, fucking what's his name? Carrigan? Yeah, Steven. Uh, whatever, fuck. Why do you want to be in then? Um, I heard that he recently came into a lot of money uh all right how many about uh he came into a vault amount working in the in the um gravity rip league and that worth about oh, okay 20k crits 20k crits what as in like in mm. vaults or as in crits himself 20K crits in vault oh shit all right so that's pretty good for races then oh pretty good for you isn't it huh <laughs> mm. all right think of that yeah, I tell you what. Could be interesting at size. Um, I mean, um, what you got on you right now? Fifteen k. Yeah, I tell you what. Give me uh fifteen k crits, and uh, I'll be able to get you your vaults. Uh, yeah, oh, I tell you what, that'll probably be. What? It's fourteen point five crits. Oh right, 15. all right, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, I can do that. I can convert, like, obviously the crits come out a bit easier. It would be a good bit of practice for some of the boys who are uh, looking to uh, get there. Uh, yeah, I can probably get you those vaults in a few days or so. Uh, we can chat, like, when we meet up, you get your vaults and uh, sort it. Yeah, just make sure the uh, the boys who do this know it's from the name of Klein, not what I'm going as. Right, alright then, yeah, so... Oh yeah, shit, you got the old Angie thing, don't you? Um, yeah. All right, very well. Uh, so let me just write that down. So you want to hear on uh, old Carrigan, um, your uh, boss. Uh, yeah, all right. So you got it on your boss. You're paying 15k. You get an investment later, and in the end, probably gonna get like 20k, 20 odd crits, right? Sorry, volts. Yeah. Yeah. All right, this is gonna be some practice for the boys, but uh, this will take a little bit of favour. Do bear that in mind. But um, yeah. Do what? This will be fine for now. Uh, we get a bit of things going on with that, and uh. Yeah, you get your own little illegal person, I'll do it, and I would definitely say, you know, they want some crits later. You want to buy some of the things there. Yeah, you just, you've you been helping me out, so I thought I'd just help you out as well. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm taking the crits from your cat right now, and have a good day. Uh, he clicks off the phone. Incredible. <laughs> you now notice um, all of your crits gone. I, I own one vault. <laughs> <laughs> Walked into that hangar with 11 volts and yeah. 8k, and I walked out with one volt. Yep. 
and now you're needing to wait to get any returns. Which oh, still ain't fully guaranteed, but we will see. Oh, it's Cat Bro, if they fail on Kerrigan, I'm actually gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be molding. <laughs> Put it this way, it's I'm Kerrigan gonna be... this no shot. Yeah, but the okay. You don't know everything about Carrigan. You don't know anything about where they live. You don't know anything about the security that you can tell beforehand. You don't know oh, their please, ties please, to please, female. Hear me, out. hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. It's funny. If, look, all I'm going to say is, if you want to supply Samson more info, it'll increase the chances. All you know right now is that they have a lot of vaults. Uh... So if you can find out information about Carrigan, then sure. <laughs> Do I have to go back in the hangar? For this? How would I get this information? I don't know. I mean, it's it's starting to turn to the afternoon now, so, you know, he might leave his office at some point. You know, somebody uh, have to go home. I, I, I can see Pablo right now, right? Yeah, Pablo's walking around right now as you're finishing the call. Can I just, can I just wave at him and, and say that I'm I'm going to go do something else? Hmm. Well, talk about it yourself. Uh, Pablo? Hello. Yeah, I I actually just got a call about the uh, money for the no-hit thing. I need to go talk business with him. So if you just want to go, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Can can you ask him about an MB? Uh, sure, I can do that for you. Thank you. What, um, initials or? Yeah, just the initials MB. See if he knows anyone. Okay. Um, also, take the main street where lots of reporters are. Why? Because, why not? Huh? Chaotic, huh? Ah, you know? Chaotic. You're right, it is funny. Okay, I'll, I'll take the main street. Alright, good chat. See ya. Alright, so, because so, it's been a minute, Pablo, what are you doing? Um. Are you now just leaving and uh, going like back home, or are you going to explore the town a bit? Um, What are you going to do? Do I have Steven's number? Uh, yes, you do. Can I give him a ring? You can give him a ring. Uh, it takes One a moment, but he, uh... Our story. I don't know. Um, <laughs> why is it just everyone hates Carrigan? Like, anyway... Bro, you... it's Carrigan. I... <laughs> no, I'm not being mean to him. <laughs> He's just trying to do his job, man. Like, he picks up the phone. Him. Yeah, Carrigan. or hey, what's up, or Pablo? You need something? Yes, just one question. Yeah, sure. Dude, where where is where did Sadie live? I'd like to pay my respects to um, and leave some flowers outside her house or apartment or wherever. Roll me a theory check. Not really matter which I've won, but yeah. Uh, okay. Yep, you got higher. Just hear a deep sigh and go. Okay. Um. Yeah. Just give me a moment. I'll get. I'll, I'll send an address to you. Um, Thanks, man. Yeah, no, you need a postcode if you're sending stuff. I, I don't recommend going there is the only thing, because uh, there's going to be some security around the area, you know, uh, protecting the um, last family member, um, you know, That's things fine. like that. I'll just that. leave it outside the front door. Okay, yeah, I'll beam you the address now. Um, you get a little pee on your phone and you have Sadie's address. Uh, yeah, is there anything else you need? Uh, no, that's all. Thank you. All right, have a good day. Uh, oh, by the way, um, quick thing as well. I forgot to mention it, but... Uh, can you ask uh, Angie if they've uh, filled out their um, racing uh, form? Since we still have the old uh, picture on the system, and uh, we want to make sure everything's correct. Yeah, I'll ask him when I next see him. All right, cheers. Yeah, it still says her as well, but uh, we'll sort it out. All right, see ya. See ya. All right. I think you can take a while guess to where I'm going next. Where are you going? Gamboy? No. I'm going go to go over <laughs> to... um. Her house. All right. Her apartment. Yeah, so this house itself is kind of outside of Crazy City. It's more in and around the countryside area, which you know is probably a bit nicer when it comes to the city. It's almost like a cyberpunk situation where it's like, you know, you've got the massive fucking metropolis, then you have barren wastes around. But except these barren wastes are actually um, grasslands sort of areas. Like typical, almost like a British countryside, really. Uh, so it's much. Uh, yeah, there are flowers about, yeah. Can I pick some of them? Uh. Yeah, tell you what, do me a chaos check just so you don't pick something that's bad. That's Wait, fine. Yeah, no, you need to roll under. Yep. Yeah, no, uh, you pick up some uh, very nice uh, daffodils. All right. I walk up to the front door. 
if I can, right. and knock on the door. Uh, yeah, so what do sort of set the scene a bit? Uh, Sadie's house is uh, sort of like one of the ones in the gated community. Um, however, you are you are able to get through because um, on your, like, are you sort of walking there or what are you doing? Actually, out of curiosity. How far is it? It's kind of far, so you would probably need a vehicle to get there. Take the bus. Uh, oh, fair enough. In that related. case, um, yeah. In that case, knock off twenty crits uh, from your um, uh, from your account. Knock off twenty crits. Okay. Uh, you uh, get over to the house, to the area. Um, you you are able to get yourself in through uh, one of the side doors since uh, that is uh, currently unlocked. Um, but yeah, no, you sort of uh, make your way over, and you notice that Zany's house is very much a um, more what's like a brutalism kind of style of house where. It's very much uh, quite striking compared to the other very nice house, but this house seems to be, in its own way, quite utilitarian. Uh, doesn't have a lot of flair, it's simple, it's nice, and it's pretty bloody large. Uh, even has its own like, special hangar area. You can assume multiple bedrooms as well. Right. Blimey. Okay. Oh, blimey. <laughs> so you say the side gate was unlocked? Oh yeah, the side gate to the gated community was unlocked. Oh, okay. uh, you're going to the house now, though. Okay, um, you will see. Door. Yeah, uh, you will see as well. There is uh, some uh, security um, around the area. Uh, they do sort of stop you and say, "Hey, uh, what are you doing?" I'm here to deliver some flowers. Uh, all right. What is your uh, association? Um, to who? To uh, you know, the uh, family of the bereaved. Um, I am a fellow racer who raced with that person on the day. Uh, they sort of look you up and down and go, Oh, you're that, uh, Pablo Ferrar, aren't you? Yes. Alright, yeah, no, I saw your race. Uh, drop the flowers and go, could you? But why? We've heard about you. Drop the flowers and go. I just want to pay my respects. Yeah, so you can drop the flowers and you can go. There's an ongoing investigation and I don't quite like what people are saying. You can come with me. I'm going to be watching you from here. You can come with me. I'm right? watching you from here. You can, if, you, if you're so set on me doing something, you can come with me and stand next to me, and it will be your boss's decision of whether I leave or stay. If, if, if they turn around to me and say they don't want me there, I'll happily chop the flowers and go. Roll me a chaos check. I've never believed in a roll more hardly in my life. <laughs> oh. We sort of eye you up and down, go. Just give me the flowers and we won't have a problem. I'll do Come it for on, you. Man. No. Please? Now, I highly recommend you give me the flowers so I can drop them at the house, or we have to remove you forcefully. Okay. Can I just pick a couple more? before I hand up to you then. No, you're here right now. Son of a bitch. Okay, just hand him the flowers. Thank you. I'll be sure tell to hand him, if bereaved. Tell him, tell him who sent them. Right, please. yeah. I'll tell him it was a Pablo. Pablo ass kicker, please. Sure. Uh, can you now leave the property? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. All right, have a good day. Uh, they watched you leave. So, unless you, like, are you going to try something here? Um... Man, you know you want to. <laughs> no, I want to. You know, you, we, we want to take more L's here on the feed our upable team, come on! <laughs> we haven't even gotten to a race yet, L's. like... <laughs> We're so, let, let's dig this rap a hole deeper, come on! Um, nah, I'll just <laughs> leave. Oh... Yeah. Uh, for intents and purposes, uh, you do like sort of turn around and just watch. They do end up giving a flowers, and you see a small discussion. But like you know, it's only a few I, nods and. Is who who is who is it? Can I see if they're male or female or something? Uh, roll me a theory check. Like it's starting to get dark now, and they don't have their light on, so it's a bit hard to see. Oh, there we go. Um, that is a critical success, man. You really needed that earlier. Um, you're able to look through, and what you do see is what appears to be a. A uh, female, 
with uh, different cybernetics, which would usually make it quite hard to discern an age, but bear in mind your um, talks with uh, Sadie, you could probably imagine that it's somewhere within a similar age range. Um, you never caught uh, Sadie's age, but they seem to be pretty similar and have similar um, sort of uh, modifications. And funny enough as well, they even have um, similar hair and similar um, sort of, uh, and similar aspects of their body. Okay. But uh, that's what you really see. Oh, alright, I'll leave. Alright. Uh, mark off another 20 crits to get the bus back, unless you're walking. I'll walk. I'll be... Uh, roll a d100, see if you get stabbed. I'll take the bus. You can't do this, you can't do this every time. If you, if you roll a blow a d... If you roll the, a 10 or lower, you're gonna, you're gonna need to fight. <laughs> You can't have the stabbing roll every time. I know you're I English, can you're and English. I will. Even in England, listen, you can't have to... Mm. Listen. You're in I've British countryside. Go. Yeah, so... Go. Roll a D1 and... Okay, there you go. You're fine. It takes you a while, but you get back. Um, You probably get back when it's about, like, 9pm. It's a pretty long walk. For 20 crits. Um, but, you know, you're fine. Um, During your walk, do you do anything else in particular? Or... Pick up some barbatua and make milk for my Oh, All right. Um, <laughs> I kind of want to make you roll for this, but I don't know if I should. <laughs> Wait, what, we can roll milk. to pick up milk. Picking roll up if milk. there is. Roll <laughs> if. Look, here's the thing. You're going back into town at 9 p.m. Shit's probably sold out. <laughs> like I, that's what I'm thinking here. Like you what? know, the shop. The... Town at well, where do you live? If you go into a town at 9 p.m., there will be stuff you can buy, especially if it's. Uh, that is my roll. Give me the milk. Fuck it. You get. You get a gallon. Hell yeah. Alright, I'll leave. I'll go back to the thing now. Yeah, uh, mark off 100 crits. It costs money. Jeez. How much crits do you have, actually? 3,000 and something. Okay, I'll pay- I'll, I'll get you to pay more later. Um... Oh, right. thanks. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. You know your goal is it to make us all break? You know, your goal of our <laughs> team is to not just keep pushing us into the dirt, you know? You're the one who gambled again. I don't want to hear it. Um, but what if I won though? But what if I won though? But what if I won though? But you lost anyway. Uh, Pablo, is there anything else you'd like to do? <laughs> How many else can we take the adventure? <laughs> yeah, like actually, fucking hell. There's, there's you know, the title. There's the there's the, the, the description. Yeah, we just, we just need a fucking L count, like. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, Pablo, is there anything else you're doing, or are you just going home at this point? Just a nap. I'm just gonna go home. All right, fair enough. You're not looking into MD any further. Very well. Um, I, 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 I would love to, but I don't oh, know where else to fair, go. Fair enough. Uh, Klein, we come back to you. You're going back into the hangar. So we're now going sort of back in time to when you're about to walk back into the hangar. Uh, you've obviously got some information from our dear uh, Samson about the moment's brevity, and you also know that if you maybe got some info on Cargan, then you might make it easier for a hit. What kind of info am I looking for? Is Primarily, you'll probably be looking for anything related to security, anything related to his schedule, and also where he lives. I I I got a plan. Okay. Uh, can we walk back to the office without being seen by the camera? Because it's still facing the wall, right? Uh, yeah, no, no one's touched it. But at this All time, right. Cargan is still in his office. So it's like. The hangar is on our base floor, you walk up some stairs and go to his office, I assume? Uh, so, what it is that, you're on a single uh, floor. So you've got your paddocks in one area, and at the far end is uh, Corrigan's uh, office. Uh, it's a sort of glass area, so like, you know, you can see in. Uh, you can see that he's still working away in there with some stuff. I walk up to his door and just knock on it? See if it responds uh, to me. Yeah, yeah, sure. He uh, looks over and uh, like sort of beckons you in. Yeah, I walk in. Yep. Hey, uh, what do you need? Yeah, this isn't uh, any professional, don't worry about that. Alright, okay. He sort of reclines his chair. What's up? I thought you were a uh, pretty, pretty nice gambler. Uh, I mean, it's just luck at the end of the day, you know, or my take off my father. Um, bit of luck there. Mm. But, you know, uh, no hard feelings, right? No, of course. All Sometimes right, you good. just lose. Yeah, you know, sometimes you win some, sometimes you lose some. That's how racing goes, really. So, speaking of sometimes you win, sometimes you lose some, you want to go again? I can't, you know. Um, I only have three limits. 
as in do you want to gamble sometime just for fun at your house in the future um maybe we're off the race where i get paid roll me a chaos check you're probably gonna succeed it but just in case I imagine I failed this chaos check. The enforcer. I can one. imagine. Imagine. Just, just don't roll a six. Series, how many elves can we take? Can I see a six? Just don't roll a six. Okay, you're on a two. You're fine. Oh. Um, Zola so looks around and goes, "Yeah, but Mrs. is probably uh, not in after a race. So, yeah, tell you what, after a race, if you want to come around, I can probably do a bit of gambling. Sure, we can have some drinks beforehand, and uh, yeah, you know, practice games. I can teach you a thing or two." <laughs> I get your uh, sort of such sort of schedule for the week. I mean, that's really the only day I'm free. I'm pretty busy elsewhere, really. As you can probably imagine, uh, being an assistant to nannies are quite a thing. <laughs> so, you'll, so you'll be home. You'll be out home most days. You know, I'm usually out of the house, but you know, I got my systems uh, sorted. When I when I do come there, will there be security to stop me? Or will I, like, I can show them who I am or stuff. I can tell him to, uh, you know, let you through, it's fine. I can give him a description. Yeah, just, a, just a couple guards, like a, probably a fence, I imagine. Uh, I've got some systems there, yeah. Alright. You wanna, like, tell me so I can get in? Oh, no, you only need to really talk to the gatekeeper, guy, and you'll be fine. Okay, so just come in, come up to the gate, talk to the gatekeeper guy. Yeah, no, like, you know, it's a gated right, community, so as a gatekeeper, because, you know, there are times when people rob things, and, uh... Yeah, no, that's why they have, like, a larger network, but, yeah, no, that's fine. I'll just let the gatekeeper guy let you in, and it's all good. I, uh... Uh, yeah. Are you okay? I still need to do it. Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Alright, uh, well, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, what? Uh, this is a vision uh, moment, are you... <laughs> oh, do, you, do I have to? Oh. You receive a text. <laughs> what does the text say? Any news on MB? You can, oh, yeah. you can choose to even see this message if you want to. I'll see the message. <sighs> yeah, okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to uh, say about uh, Pablo. D uh, do you know the guy called uh, MB? Um... No, not really. Uh, I don't know anyone by that name, no. Alright, just anything comes up, just tell me, yeah? Yeah, sure, now, I'll let you know. Uh, why is it important? I... Uh, weird kid in it. Uh, sure, I mean, you know, I'll, I can put some feelers out there, maybe. Like, you know, if there's a friend of Pablo's. Oh, yeah? That, that'd be great if you could do that. Yeah, that's sure. You know, I'll ask around. I got a few contacts. I can always help. Thanks. Alright, yeah, sure, no problem. Anyway, yeah, uh, after the race, uh, just, uh, swing on by, or, um... Yeah, now, swing on by the office, I'll bring you back home, and, uh, well, nah, you can get there, it's fine. Just get past the gatekeeper, you'll be good. Yeah, alright. Well, uh, yeah, chat to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. Alright, -bye. Bye. and as I walk out, I'll just go back out the uh, front this time, because Pablo asked me to. Yep. As soon as you walk out the front, a raucous oh, no. he begins to swarm you. Um... Why did he tell me to go out the front? Oh, I've hurt you so much. Yeah, no, you now have paparazzi all around you, and you can't even hear all the questions right now. You just hear love triangle, other man, your involvement, Sadie. You just hear a lot of words. Uh, you know, scandalous behavior. Um, like, you know, uh, everything. Uh, like, there's rumors going from that you met each other in the house, in the office. That you were long friends from another planet. There's every form of gossip now being thrown at you. Wait, I was gonna take. What else are you doing? Well, I, 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 what, what other time? What other time? What's, what's, what's going hey, on? Hey, over here! No, no, over here! Over here! No, no, no! Talk to me about this. About balance. Yeah. What about Sadie? And also about the thing. And also that one. Yeah. No. Talk about that thing there. Yeah. 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 What? It, it's very much packed in. Like, you don't know if you can get a word in. <laughs> I just one more time. Everyone just say words at once. I'm sure I'll get something. It ain't working, man. <laughs> like, no, I will literally get it. Come on, just one more time. Go yeah, no, you, like you just hear shit about Sadie, shit about love, shit about another bloke, and you. Sadie, love bloke, me. Uh, are you talking about the matchmaking thing? You're like a bunch of yes, no, maybe. I don't know. What are you talking about? Tell us more. Uh, 
if you got this information from a man called Pablo Arskicker, uh, he, he's probably right. Whatever he told you, it's just it's probably correct if you heard it from him. They go into a raucous. Oh my god. Oh, did I say something wrong? <laughs> My character oh, just thinks. My character just thinks. I. I hope Pablo told them something good. And start, they. I'm they gonna, are very it. much asking you many details about the affair now. Look, you, you kind of lost me at once. You just keep Come hearing. A, you just keep hearing affair. They're not letting you leave. You want to push by? You're gonna need to roll. I. I I'll just. I'll humor them some more. I guess. Yeah. I, no. Like they. They're just clamoring for some scoop about what's going on. Is there no way I can calm them down to even talk slightly slower? That's the thing, they're fucking ravenous. Like, you've just fed them something that they are going to go off of. Is there a security man here? There's a gate guy. Can I look at the gate guy and go, what, does, what did he tell them? It's a robot. Like, it, 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 it doesn't care. It has a memory, right? Yeah, but, you know, that's only, like, basically the gatekeeper more than anything. It's not an actual sen sentience, really. It's more just the person that, ch that makes sure that the park priority don't get in. What do you is I can't leave. <laughs> um... If you can try to push through, or you can go around the back. I, I, I kind of want to humor them, though. It's kind of funny. <laughs> you know, they are fucking ravenous on you right now. They're chaotic. <laughs> chaotic, yep. even. Yeah, they're just uh, screaming stuff at me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we'll say you're stuck here for like an hour or so as you just try to clamor to answer questions. Um, yeah, we'll, 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 like just for the sake of brevity, because um, you know, we'll be done with this for like fucking two hours now. We should probably get to race at some point. Um, and actually, yeah, oh so, uh, oh, wow. yeah. We, we, our last issue would be over by now. Yeah, nah, there's another hour in, but uh, yeah, anyway. Um, <laughs> So you'll probably hear until like it starts getting late when finally they, you see your moment to like get through and you just start walking through, and then you probably st do you like get, like do you then start like sprinting away from them? So I'd say at this point you're probably getting kind of tired. Um, if I'm getting kind of tired, can I even sprint away from them? You can definitely sprint away, but you know you're just tired of them more than anything. Ah. Uh. Been going at it for like fucking three hours with them trying to put in word edgeways. If I walk away, they'll still follow me. Uh, they're more kept in their own area. Like, generally the general, um, way that Gravity Rip uh, Paparazzi work is that they're basically kept in a container of the general area. They are not allowed to go beyond an aspect, uh, really. So, they're unlikely to follow you. They're literally, cur like, curled in like dogs, effectively. I'll, I'll just do, like, a tired of the shit and just walk away. Yeah. They obviously keep trying to get more questions for you, but their voices slowly fade away. Incredible. So, yeah, now you're left in the quiet of the um, Crater City going tonight. Uh, is there anything you'd like to do? Well, hopefully not get stabbed. No, 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 you'll be fine. You're going to a nice area. Um, Yeah, so in that case, I'll go for you. Oh. Yeah, can I just text Samson what I was told? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, so, what are you really telling him about? Are you telling him about the idea that there's a gatekeeper and that... Like, a gatekeeper, from that, I'm telling yeah. him he lives in a gated community. I'm telling yep. him that most days he won't be home except after the race, so I'm going to go gamble with him. So if he wants to do it after that day, then I can go in the house and get more information for him if he wants. Yeah. Uh, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, you feed some info and uh, someone says, okay, that's great. Need more specifics, camera models, ETC. Cheers. Camera models. Um, it, entries as well, that, shit like that. Can I can I just text back that if if we do it after the race, I can tell them this when I'm in the house and. He said, "Yeah, you got three days, mate. Don't worry." I uh, okay, it's cool. It's clean. Yeah. So I'm gonna make a note of the threshold you need to get to actually have a successful heist here. So oh, I'll I'm, say... gonna to, I'm gonna have to pay attention. Oh. Yeah, so the base level was 20. Uh, I'd say you've upped it a bit, so don't worry. Ah, oh, okay. You're getting basic info. So basically mm -hmm. it is that they need to roll below that number in order to succeed on their heist. What happens if they fail? Uh, if they fail, you get nothing and you lost your crits. Okay, N nothing other than that. Good. Wait, I Unless they catastrophically fail, but we'll see. Wait, I uh, put 14.5k into this. 
Yeah. Wait a minute, I'm just realizing the consequences of my actions. Yeah, uh -huh. you've, made a lot, you've made a lot of money. Hey, it's but bloody. you can get a lot in return. But, uh, bloody. yeah. Are you walking back to your hotel, then? Is that is, is this thing, are we packing in for the night? I, 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 yeah. All right, fair enough. Um, you all sort of start going to bed, uh, you know, unwinding for the day. And then Klein uh, and Pablo, you both see uh, on the TV, there's a breaking news report. Uh, Klein, you're on TV. Oh. Uh, and the headline is a scandalous affair with Sadie Danzel and an un unidentified male. What? And they basically repeat the part where you said whatever Pablo said is probably true. But we've been cut to a statement before of Pablo saying that there was likely something that was happening. That's what you told them. So, Bruh. yeah, this is now on TV. Um, even when she's dead, I can't take a, I can't take a break from her, even when I kill her. You're also getting many messages from Carrick and saying, "What the fuck did you do? What the fuck did you do? What the fuck did you do? Please I tell me, oh god, back, what the fuck did you do?" I just text back saying, "They wouldn't shut up for like four hours." What the fuck did you do? Why the fuck did you do it? Why didn't you leave? I couldn't leave. You could have gone back. Of... What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? And I just text him back saying, "Well, at least they're not worrying about the murder now." Hmm? He doesn't reply after that. And I'll uh, say you're um, welcome. I'll just text you're welcome and end it there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> needs to say you now have a reputation that could last a little bit longer than just your last race. Great. I can't wait to question Pablo on that one in Axiom. Yeah, no, Pablo, you, you see mean? this on TV as, like, Pablo, you see this on TV, and, like, they, they explicitly say, like, they put his, what he said, next to you saying about, um, you know, them probably having something. Well, it's a good thing that I was really vague. You weren't I, very vague. You were I, extremely blunt. I think the thing is that, I, I don't remember the exact words that you said, because, unfortunately, you didn't know that down, but I'm pretty sure you basically said, yeah, no, they were. I just left it up for their imagination because I said, you know what I mean? And, well, they're trying to get headlines. Yeah. They're going to twist what you say. And then exactly. you told Klein to go through the front way without telling him what. But either way. And then you... after that, you hear a very loud knocking on your door and complaining, oh. <laughs> probably. Yeah, all right, let's fucking get to this. Let's go. Yes, here. This bit... Is this bitch here for my milk again? <laughs> what did you say to the press? Come on, sit down, have some milk. I want your milk. Fresh from Hands the market. Of milk. I don't want it. Why do you just give me headaches? I just said what I knew. Why did I say to trust you? You're literally a child. <laughs> With a gun. Listen. Yeah. We got a race. Okay? It's an important race. We need to make sure that we race it. Have some yeah. milk. I pour out a glass and shove it in front of him. Have some milk. Put it on the table immediately. Oh yeah, second. Uh, I just, I don't. Why would you do this? Why? What was the point? Why would you? Why would you? Why did you tell the press this? Why did you give them anything? Um, I need to um get into her apartment. So I think it's like if I make as many contacts as possible, then that'll be good. You understand they put me on blast there, and that doesn't give you any contacts at all. Just every time you walk out that front door, people are going to badger you for hours because you are a dumbass who cannot keep his mouth shut. There's, there's always a plan to the madness. <laughs> yeah, but I'm supposed to be the mad one at yours. <sighs> I'm just going to walk out pissed off. You forgot your milk. I don't want your cancer milk. As you Just walk out, me. you hear you hear a flash, and you look down the corridor, and there is a paparazzi. As your sheep screaming, "I don't want your cancer milk." Fucking believable. Who do you, bro? Come on. They dash off immediately. They run. <laughs> Kind of mumble like that while going to bed. Yeah. 
needless to say, it's not a great night for you. Uh, you your sleep is disturbed for for even you with uh, the things that have been happening today. Um, Pablo, how do you sleep? Well, I do my normal routine. I have my batch of milk before bed. Make sure it goes down well. Mm-hmm. And then go to sleep. Fair enough. Where do you keep your gun, just so I know? Because I'm worried. What do you mean? <laughs> Like, no, do you just keep door. it on your hip? Do you put it on like under like under your pillow? Like, is there a chance that something terrible is going to happen with your gun? Um, oh well, no, because I get yeah. dressed, so it's like okay. So you like don't leave it somewhere. Okay, okay, cool. Chair. Good to know. Yeah. All right then. You miss fire and shoot your foot. <laughs> and now you can't race for LMAO. I go to bed sucking it like a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Well, you what? Yeah, do you actually? No. <laughs> I was about to fucking say, I'm fucking cheap wigging this fucking hell. Uh, oh, alright. Well, with that, um, <laughs> yeah, the, the night goes by and you wake up at your time. You you know that you have a race at 12.37 um, today at, in the uh, afternoon time, but as long as you're at the hangar sometime before and you're probably going to be okay for the race. So, um... Not gonna make like... time, well, when do you want to get up? When do you want to go? What, what, what's your well, plan? It doesn't matter what time I get up. There's going to be 7 million people standing out front of the door. If I had a tireless night and I didn't get any sleep, like you said. I mean, but you could have got... You, you definitely could have gotten sleep. Like, no, you, you got sleep. Just, you know, it might have been a bit hard to get to sleep. Oh, you know, right, right, right. It's just dramatic, don't worry. Um, okay, so fine. Yeah. Uh, if you do want to check, there is like a little peephole outside your door. I, I would love to check how many people are out there. There's 20 people. Or if anyone is. There's 20 people. Oh my yeah. goodness. There's like, no other way like, out this apartment. There's no other way so out this, like... Let week. me explain what's going on here. So, you basically have a bunch of people camped out at the room. They are currently asleep. I have to do a stealth check. Are you joking? The pains of being famous. I have to do a stealth check. There is also a window. Uh, just... Take a shot every time I lose in this stream, <laughs> you will die of I'm alcohol sorry, poison. but things have gone in a very interesting situation that I did not foresee. Why I did didn't we... think an affair <laughs> what, allegation what did would happen. What, what did I do to deserve this? <laughs> why, why is it always me? Don't worry, Pablo took, wrong. Some L's as, Pablo took some L's as well, but you know, you have got you have paparazzi outside your room, but also your room itself is not actually too far from ground level, so. You know, I if you take a look out your window, what you could probably see is that you could see the pool below you. A pool? Yeah. Can I just drop my clothes out the window that, in a way that I can guarantee they won't land in the pool? Uh, yeah, I'll give it to you. You can uh, drop your clothes out the side and they'll probably uh, land on one of the um, sort of lounges. That's what a lot of people do in this hotel. They drop clothes down the lounge, just like book it, and then uh, come down. I, I double and triple check that I have everything I need before jumping out of this window. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only thing the I'd say is going to be interesting, how are you packing your phone? Because obviously, you know, it's a bit, it's a bit fragile. Uh, do I not have anything to put it in? I mean, we can just say you put it in, like, your clothes and, you know, hope it's okay. Okay. Yeah, so you sort of bundle that up, you make it as soft as you can, you might even put, like, a few pillows with it as well, just the hell of it. And, uh, yeah, no, they, uh, la they land on the lounge, it's easy enough. Okay, I get everything else I need, I open the window. Is it, like, a straight job? Is there, like, I might, is there a chance of me missing? The uh, you, you need to leap out a little bit is the only thing. Like, it, like, you're not, it, it's a good at least 10 foot area you need to, like, leap out from. Okay, so if I, so if I there can... is going to be a chaos check for this. Is, is it like a hard window to get through? Is it just like one easily jumpable? Uh, you you can climb out of it, yeah. It is one of those windows that, um, like, it's a sliding window. Oh, right. Yeah, so you can, uh, like, sort of crouch yourself in it and then leap from it. So, can I just jump or do I have to get, like, a running start for this? I don't know. You can, like, propel yourself from the window uh, to get to the pool. You just need to roll a chaos check. Okay. I'll just do a simple jump from the window then. Yeah, right. Uh, roll chaos. This is where I roll a six. Imagine. Now you're fine. Imagine. You roll a six, you die at the end. 
Oh, God, fucking hell. That's the time to use a radical bonus. Uh, no, you uh, get into the pool uh, just fine. Um, yeah, there's no one actually looking for you. As a skeleton, it's a bit hard for you to swim through, so you don't really have the flesh like push you through. But, you know, y you get there. And um, I'd say you have you are able to escape the hotel. Um, Pablo, what are you doing? Are there people outside of my apartment? They're just in the hallway. Um... I walk past question, them. I swear to God. You're gonna walk past him. Are you gonna I'm wake gonna him up? Walk or... past him. No, I'm just gonna walk past. So, are you trying to not wake them up or just keep walking? Just ignore them. Okay. Just like they're not there. Roll me a um. Uh, just give me a roll, could you? Do me a roll of a uh. Give me a theory roll, just so you can keep your composure. And while you do that, I'm just going to do something really quickly. Hey, Storms, how are you doing? Hello, hello. Sorry, I don't have any, um, I don't have any alerts right now, so I'm terribly sorry. We're doing some gravity rip. Um, so, hey, uh, unfortunately, I don't really look at the chat too much, but thank you for real. I truly do appreciate it. Hopefully, hopefully you're treating me well. I'll be looking at the chat regardless, but enjoy the shittery that's going on. Uh, yeah, Chiefs, take it away. You, you be coordinator here. <laughs> okay, sorry about that, I'm back. Um, Isn't that, was it, was it a chaos roll or was it a theory roll? Uh, it was a theory roll, so you need to roll below. Um, yeah, you wake up a few of them, and they start trying to clamber for uh, information for you, but you are able to not say shit to them and calmly get to the elevator. Yeah. You don't add any more charcoal to the fire that is burning. Funny God, if you put me further in this pit, I would have been so upset. I know exactly how to add, add petrol to it. Can you not? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I, what? <laughs> What else are you doing? Are you just going to leave and go to the hangar to get ready for your race, or do you have anything else any of you want to do? Uh, I'll just go to the hangar. What are you doing? Alright. Yep. Um, the client, what are you doing? What am I doing when I get to the hangar? Yeah, like, are you doing anything on your way to the hangar, or are you just, you know, going straight to the hangar? Uh... I just go straight to the hangar, but I, I like to keep an eye out if in case anything like interesting happens, or I see a shop uh, that might be interesting. Yeah, I mean, as you're going, you do note the uh, mechanics that you saw, just so um, like you know the uh, mechanics that uh, some said the uh, moments of uh, brevity. Uh, you do uh, make a note of that one, so you know where it is. If you want to return to it. Is, it. is it quite close to the hangar? Uh, it's decently close. Like you have to still go down a little bit of a street. Where you see a sign for it. Oh, okay. I'll remember where yeah. it is. Yeah, so it's down on the sign. You know where it is. Uh, like, you know. It's very much a clear sign. They capitalize the first, so it's all good. But, yeah. Uh, you sort of make your way, and just before you get to the main area, you realize just how many paparazzi there probably is, and you remember there's a back way. Oh, I think I'm taking the back way. All right. You oh, go but through... I the... oh, but the front would be funny. <laughs> Such a... Theoretic way to think. Why don't you just be chaotic? What do you want to do here? I'll go through the front. Oh god. Okay. I think I'll go. I think I'll go through the front. You I'll can't go. even. You can't even get any voices. You can't hear anything. There's about twenty fold paparazzi here, and they're all swarming you. Can I at least walk forward? You can walk forward because there is currently a lot of security, and they're all eyeing you down dirtily because they know why they're having to be here. <laughs> Walk past them going, sorry about this boys, it's literally not my fault. I didn't know about the situation. I'm, I apologize. Such everyone then starts right everyone else starts writing down it's a situation, he didn't know about it. <laughs> and then they Christ. start writing up like and then you start hearing like, you know, <laughs> lies and shit like that. Uh then you start hearing like the words victim, so on and so forth. Uh yeah. But you know, you get in. Face palm. I'm <laughs> walk up to the walk in. Yep. Yeah. Uh, very well. Uh, Pablo, how are you coming in? You gotta go through the front. <laughs> yeah. Pablo. You gotta go through the front. Alright, Pablo, you begin walking in and yet again, there's many a question. They even start asking you if you're the unidentified male. Because you were, because uh, according to their um, posts, it appears that Klein met you late in the night and asked about your milk. Was that sorry? Uh, so they have a report that last night Klein came to your um, room and asked for your milk. 
Okay. They're asking if you are the unidentified <laughs> male. Uh, is that is that true? Well, if I'm the un unidentified yep. male, I just say no. All right. They keep Why? clambering and saying if they're sure. You're not even gonna try to cl clear it up. You're just gonna say no. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. They're keep talking about allegations and um, anonymous okay. sources uh, and proven I'll fact. I'll do this. I'll, I'll take the microphone. Oh, God. And I'll say okay, yeah, no, you're, you're going to a live TV interview right now. You're just taking a random reporter's microphone and just, like, talking into it. What are you saying to the world right now? You're Think searching about your words carefully. For the unidentified person. You're asking me if, if I'm that person, I'm going to say no. However, you all know who it is. Well, you all know that person. And that's all I'm going to say. And I leave. Such a... <laughs> Why do you do this? Why have you done this? You then hear the words cover up as you walk by. Yeah. I just kind of <sighs> click you and walking. Didn't help at all. <laughs> yeah, no. Didn't do anything. I thought you, you, I thought you at least you could ask about MB. You even, even hear, you, you, even hear, you even hear the name Corrigan mentioned. Like, there's a lot of fucking theories on who it might be. Rubber. Oh no, I'm going to house gambling as well. This is awful. Yeah, I mean, you know, let, let's get to this. So you guys are now going to do a hang on, right? I, I'm, are you guys walking together alone? You know, what's going on here? I don't mind. You want to walk in together? Yeah, sure. Can't be, yeah. Can't be worse. Yeah, you uh, start walking up. Even Razor's sort of looking at you guys a bit as well. Um, yeah, do you what? Uh, can I review Roll Me a Fury check? You need to do it. Okay. Is it both of us doing it, or just one of us? Just one of you. It's basically yeah, you notice something. Ooh, you don't notice it. All right. Uh, yeah. No, you're uh, walking over, and um, yeah, you go uh, up your stairs, and you uh, notice that the uh, charity box is now locked, and uh, as opposed to a uh, crying woman, it's now a very hefty security guard. <laughs> can I do a can I do a fake? Fake like walk towards it, just see what the security guard hologram does. Uh, yeah, they uh, look at you and sort of nod. I'm like, uh, understandable. They look away just... if you're walking away. Mm-hmm. I just wanted to see, the like... Camera. No, I took my fedora. I just pointed the camera at the wall. Yeah. Oh, I probably shouldn't wear the fedora, huh? <laughs> well, have we? Fine. You fine walk it. into the hangar. Um, one of the things you immediately notice is that Corrigan's office is uh, fully blinded up. Like, the blinds are down and it's on Do Not Disturb. You get the you're probably not going to get a word of Corrigan before the race. Can I go? To, can I just go knock on his door anyway? Yeah, you get no response. Hey, how uh, sucks to suck, Lamal. You get no response. Dumbass. Okay, I walk away. You get no response. <laughs> walk away. Yep. Uh, also as well, you probably notice that Sadie's paddock as well. Um, there's like almost so. It's almost like, you know, like, the digital photo frames and things like that? There's now been a few of those added together, but there's, like, photoshopped pictures of Klein and Sadie together now as well. Uh, with, like, little, like, hearts around it as well. Um, like, yeah, there's now a subsection of people, like, very much shipped with this. So, yeah. Robert, what the fuck is happening? Look, you I do you not, just I do yourself. I wake up this morning and think, oh, I'm going to go play a fun game of Gravity Rip and not think, I'm going to take so many L's back to back just you know, the whole time. Maybe it all started when you took from charity. Like, oh. <laughs> you carried <laughs> it all away. Oh, fuck. Oh. Fucking hell. All right. Is there anything you want to do before you start your race? Is there anyone else in this hangar? No, um, it is just you two racing today. Uh, it's just race. Uh, can I, I, I suggest the public go check his um, uh, car again because he got stabbed last. Oh time. yeah. Um, you guys want to check your cars? Check my car today. Did they check uh, my car today? Yeah, no, they uh, did do a check over. Um, the like, bear in mind what you mentioned beforehand. The mechanics and security has been raised here, hence the security guard there. Um, there's no alerts on. There's no alerts on your system at all. Okay. Right, I'm ready. I'll just check right. mine for the uh, sake of it. Alrighty. Well, um, with that case, how about we start getting ready for our race? Because you all get into your cockpits and immediately your screens light up. 
you begin to see what will be the race before you. You get a small map of the area and um, we're going to take a quick break because I need to go to the loo. Uh, so we're going to take a quick break. I will be back in just a moment, but after that we will get to the race. Um, <laughs> I am so sorry for fucking over like this, but I, I couldn't not. <laughs> like... uh, is this going to be every time? Maybe for a few sessions, we'll see. Uh, either way. What do you mean? Either way, I'm gonna go, I'm, let's do a quick BLB. Um, <laughs> we'll see all of you in a moment. And that's why she was roommate. Ah. Uh, anyway, you know. we are back. So, we finally get to erasing what this game is about. So, I would like for all of you to roll a d20 as we begin to race. This will then allocate your position on the track. Pablo, predict the uh, roll real quick. Yep, yeah, so just remember, low number better. The 20. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, roll one what, 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 do you, what do you think you're gonna roll? I'm thinking a 14. You're thinking a 14? That's oh. pretty oh. bad. Okay, so that's Pablo there. Should, okay, I, should um... I roll out a 19 instead? Oh. Well, roll a 20. Roll. 20. Go on, roll a 20. Be down and open. Alright, okay. Uh... <sighs> Seven! Hey, not bad. Wait, I really wanted you to be the one winning this race. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's, it's fine. 
It's oh, fine. Oh. Everything be okay. Time for some serious racing. Uh, okay. So, uh, we have uh, Pablo. So you're at 19, correct? Right, so. Okay. Uh, Klein, you are on 7th. Alrighty. Seven. And uh, time for our mystery rival. I wonder if this is ATX. Yeah. Uh, let me go ahead and do this. Uh, oh, oh yes, I'm I... redacted and some more redacted. Mm -hmm. yeah, sorry, I just read as well. I put the person in the wrong position because I changed the names around because I'm numpty. Uh, give me one moment. Redacting, yep. in, in, inserting yeah. red numbers. Yep, yeah, and uh, yeah, yeah. changing this. Okay, yeah, uh, adding, to the power of, adding to the power of two, subtraction of four, multiplying by six. Um, Nine, you know, the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah uh, adding in the uh, chance of an affair to happen in your cars. Um, Bruh. Okay. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> oh, dear. Alrighty. Well, then. Um, so, you get kitted out to your tracks, and immediately you, are, you see just lush greenery with a swampy area. It is very much a mossy environment with multiple old and even decaying trees, many, sl many stumps that sat about, and the one thing you clearly notice is the fact that this area is very uneven, so it's going to be a hell of a ride, so you better hope you have some good hydraulics. But, after further, further ado, the lights come on and they're ready to go. And we'll begin the race in three, two, one. Alrighty, so, starting off a race, we have our dear Pa... Klein. Sorry, I was about to say Pablo. <laughs> uh, Klein, what are you doing? Um, going forward, isn't it? Alright, I guess so. So, what I want you to do is I want you to roll a d6 plus your acceleration. Uh, just remember at this, yeah, just remember at this point you cannot do any overclocking. So bear that in mind. But, you know, uh, roll your acceleration I'm gonna roll one for the pack, because when you fight the pack, the pack fights back. Oh no. That's not good. Yeah, no, that's really not good, because I rolled Looks a 6. Looks like you're joining me. <laughs> hey, so you know that 17th place? Yeah, I'll be that soon. So, um, question, do you want to burn 6 integrity to move up one spot? <laughs> no, I don't think I do. Okay, cool. Wait, was, did you roll a did you roll a one? With... I rolled a one. What did they roll? They rolled a six. This is rigged. Wait, hold on. You didn't even add your minus. You rolled a zero. I rolled a zero. This is so rigged. Wait, did you add a minus one to it? No, you can't. Can you do that? Yeah. If you have a minus one oh. to acceleration, you've rolled a straight zero. I was just doing that hit since it's only minus one. Yeah. Can mm. we uh can we can we just get some hashtag gravity up as rigged, please? It's uh. <laughs> It's, it's rigged against me wow, specifically. Uh, I, I, I can't make this shit up, man. I, I can't make this shit up. Look, For you're the adulterer, okay? Either way, it's a rival's turn. Uh, rival's gonna do a funny. Uh, they have a goal in mind, and they're gonna do this. Yeah, they're doing a funny. Yeah, they're gonna do something here. Yeah. Uh, okay. If this is an ATX, I'll be surprised. I mean, you can't see anything right now. You're trying to fight your way through your pack, but um, you don't see them around you right now. Um, yeah, let's move him over to that. Yep, yeah, okay, with that in mind. Yeah, that, yeah. he's in 18th place right now, huh? Wow, it's, it's like he just moved up to first. Imagine that. Uh, oh my no, they're, god. They're gonna do that. Uh, right. So, okay, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, so, I want Pablo. Now, what are you doing? Because you can advance, hold, or ahead. retreat. Alright, in that case, roll a d6 plus your acceleration. Now, do bear in mind you do have an illegal modifier if you really want to use it. What, my weighting factor? Your, your high, yes, your hoverability. You have high, medium, and low. If you want to, you could add a plus one to this roll, but you need to make sure that you roll above a four for it to not be seen and above a two for it to um, not fucking explode. What does it actually okay. do? Uh, oh, fuck. This is okay, rigged. Man. Yeah, I, rolled, I did ask roll a four. This is so rigged. Wow, um, okay. Hey, this is just bullying us. We are, we are the team that loses. This is it, <laughs> this is the story, this is the story arc. You, uh, you had a good a... time, the, the one time you need to be podium, this is, oh my. Um, okay. So, put it this way, I rolled a four. Mm. Um... If you want to regain any spaces, you most certainly can. You just need to burn a bit of integrity. You need to burn at least two integrity to gain one spot. No. All right, very well then. Um, yeah, this starting map, uh, lap has been very difficult for people because 
usually with a racer's a smooth surface, for a lot of racers this is quite difficult due to the bumpy terrain. And you're trying to find yourself actually moving around the pack and you find yourself digging off multiple races, nothing too serious, but there are a lot of people trying about getting churned up in this because the, the levels of the marshlands to the lowlands to the higher hills, it is making a cacophony of just bad racing environment for you. Um, at the end of Helicam phase, we have... Um, Klein, you are exactly where you started, 7th. Uh, our rival is somewhere that you cannot see. And we have uh, Pablo still in 19th. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Klein, you're, you're trying to hold your own in the bumpy area. It's very hard to try and gain any form of traction here. But what do you want to do as we move into our maneuvers phase here? What would you like to do? You can slam, overtake, or block. I can't it. slam. Mm -hmm. I, I, there's no reason to block. So just mm -hmm. go forward. All right, very well then. Um, do you want to know a little bit about the car in front of you? Uh, sure. Uh, sure, let me get a thing here. Uh, I mean, if you're for, I'll take the information. I mean, put it this way, it's somewhat of a speedster. So it's not exactly good against holding its own in an overtake. Because as you may know, when it comes to overtaking, you need to use your acceleration against their weight. Uh, they don't seem fragile, it's a key thing, but they see, still seem like a competent vehicle. It's probably 2 to 0, like uh, Pablo is. Maybe, yeah. So, would you like to try an overtake? Uh, yes. Alright, in that case, you do your... Um... Now, bear in mind, if you do fail this, the uh, person could attempt to slam against you. So this is adding my weight, yes. Uh, this is you adding your acceleration, they are adding their weight. So... Ah, oh, it's wrong around. Mm. Okay. Yeah, right, so you're trying to overtake them. Yep, so you're doing a uh, 1d6 minus 1. I mean, I'll say this. As long as you don't cock it up, you're fine. Uh, yeah, so you just do a ro do slash roll 1d6 minus 1. Because minus 1 due to acceleration. space. Oh, no, no, you don't do a space. I think it's just one uh, single thing. It's all in one. Yeah, it's all in one. All in one. Yep. But this is you trying to get around them in the bumps. You're trying to, like, sort of, like, slip around them as they go a little bit too high or a little bit too low. Try and keep... Trying to make sure they... Like, bear in mind as well, you're generally set to hover at 10 feet. It's going to be very difficult to try and keep it at 10 feet. So there's going to be a lot of highs and lows in this race. Uh, are you having difficulty? Oh, there we go. Oh. No, I was just waiting for the monologue to stop. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. That's, wow, a, okay. that's a good roll. <laughs> Um, it's, at least it's not zero. Yeah, but they rolled a two. This is the uh, rig. I, <laughs> I shit you not. I, Why do they keep rolling plus one above me? What is this? I don't know. Like, I, wait, well, we're gonna get at least we're gonna get bonus money, but we're not getting anything from this race. I'm gonna throw you a bone. I'm gonna throw you a bone. Uh, they're gonna attempt to slam on you. Um, just roll your weight. Oh. Or a D6 plus your weight. So what are they getting? Oh my fucking god. <laughs> please don't fuck us up. I'm gonna say it now, please don't fuck us up. Well, even if I roll a 1, I'll get a 4, so... Yeah. Still. Oh, no! Thanks, okay. They rolled a 6 too. <laughs> At least I rolled plus 3 above them. Oh, fucking hell, yeah. Alright. So here's what happens, you try to overtake them, but as you're trying to do it, you realize that your vehicle is very weighty, but even at some point you're actually scraping across the ground. Luckily it's still marshy soil, so it's not actually impacting your racing. Uh, you do still get a little bit clammed up in it though, and as you're trying to swerve around, you notice they're trying to slam you from the side. You immediately notice this, and you actually check them before that, and they then end up taking a minus two to their integrity. So, uh, yeah, you have been able to do a little bit of damage to someone, even, but you're still in the same position, unfortunately. Count as me hitting, counts as them hitting, hitting me, right? Yeah, that was them attempting to slam against you, and they failed. Okay. So you were able to punish them for that. So I'm just making a note of an mm -mm, and they are taking a minus two. We might return to them later. I haven't even full yeah. details of vehicle, but they might reappear. Oh, great. Um, all right. Uh, our rival is going to do this. Uh, let me do a roll or two. Um, okay, so yeah, that person will be like that. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So you obviously can't see where rival is right now, but just know there is someone else in this race who is a little bit more sentient than uh, your average NPC. Pablo. All right. Yeah, it was speed, speed ahead well. again. Uh, 
All right, uh, you need to roll a d6 pressure acceleration against the weight of the other person. Would you like to know about the other person? Um, no. Why would I want to know about a loser? Okay, then. I mean, we'll see what they roll. Imagine that's the rival. <laughs> no, he's rolling. 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 He's
All right, so as you uh, engage your overdrive immediately, you begin to shred a little bit of your plating on your machine as you uh, soar a little bit faster. Uh, so, on this roll, you're now going to be rolling at a plus one because you're burning off two. So, roll and let's see how the pack does. Oh, God. I swear to God. It could be worse. Five. Right? It's not bad. They rolled a five, two. <laughs> Great. Now, bear in mind, you can burn integrity. Five, ten. I have nine integrity. Yep. Uh, you can burn up to five to gain five spots. It's I mean, up to you on what you do on it. You can uh, burn it free to gain an extra, you know, to gain a bit more. It's up to you what you want to do here. So if bear I burn, in mind, I, I burn four right now. Yep. Yeah. You'll I get go up. To third. You will probably get up to third. Yeah. We don't think I should do it, Pablo. I don't think, do think this is a good, yeah, good business. You can, yeah, you can communicate here. How many more rounds do we have? Two. This is your Two. second round, so. Bear in mind, there's three um, laps in this. This will take me down to five integrity. I'd say that, right? go to like. Or would this take you up to third? Yeah. I'd it will say like put you on like a podium. Fifth. Take you up to fifth and then give yourself some leeway. So that if someone does want to bash into you, you got some. Integrity yeah, but in, in one and a half laps after this, will I realistically take five damage? I don't know. <laughs> You can go into 19th place and not go anywhere. Okay, let's take this damage with this much weight. I don't think I will. I mean, if you I want to... Like, would you like gambling? Oh, it's up to you. What do you want to do here? Yeah, I, think, I, think I'll, uh, I think I'll burn four even. You want to burn four? I think I'll burn four even. Well, if you're burning four, you are going to get somewhere around the podium. Just bear but... in mind, you, you burned two at the start. And you're burning a four, so you are now in this entire helicam phase burning six integrity. Because what you're basically doing here is that you're using the other cars as bumper cars, and you're even using the rail to get around people. You are causing an intense light show, and you're glad this is a marshy area, so you probably would be setting the entire forest on fire by now with how many sparks you're shooting out. But if you're burning four oh. more, mark that down as you begin to move yourself up a fair bit more. Finally, some fucking progress. Would you, would you say that it's a nice spectacle to watch for the fans? It is, yeah. Yeah, you're setting up a very nice spectacle here. I will say would, that. Would you say it's radical bonus worthy? I'd say if you don't fucking die, it would be. i still got a radical bonus, haven't I? Yeah. Indeed. Ah. So, so now, if I don't die, it would be. Yeah, so we'll see what happens at the end of this maneuvers phase if you do anything cool. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, we'll get to the discussions later. Uh, the rival, what are they going to do? Oh, I know what they're going to do. Uh, yeah, they need to do this. That is always an option. Okay. I don't believe okay. in the role, even if they don't believe in you. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, let me do that. Just need to double check something because I need to do the roll. Uh, to do. Oh, you said the roll. This is a special one. Oh, what's that? He's rolled a six. <laughs> what's that? You no, rolled a 21. I, I rolled a one. No way. <laughs> Okay, what that's you one. one. Yo, he rolled bad. Yeah, just double checking some things here really quick. Just give, 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 give a moment. Okay. Ready. Perfect. Uh, so, uh, Pablo, it is now your turn. Right. Let's smoke, please, lose it. <laughs> All right. Quick thing. As you're beginning to uh, proceed to advance, you notice a familiar car coming your way, full of LED symbols and very much a similar graphic is uh, staring you down. This one is a bit oh. different. It's not a revolver and a gun blasting to your head, it's you stepping on Caltrops for some reason. That's when you see it. Me doing uh, what? Caltrops. Oh. It's like you stepping on Caltrops and like stepping around, but that's when you see it. You begin to, well, not even see it, feel it more, because you then begin to do like <laughs> As all of a sudden, magnetic cow drops are dropped onto your car. Oh, God. Now, take two integrity damage. Okay. I also need you to, um... I know you don't need to do anything else, but do bear in mind that the pushback is going to be a lot more severe, because what's basically happened here is that for this entire helicam phase, you're... 
ability to advance being significantly hindered, as through some modification, it appears things have not gone right. But on the bright side, you do notice a sparking coming out of their car. Okay. But uh, I need to roll, and I need to bear in mind that in this, because of what they did, you could go back so to 20th. Are they, are, they, are they directly in front of me then? They are directly in front of you. Now, all I'm saying is you really need to make sure you do not lose two spots, or else you will be lapped. Because the issue with the caltrop is that it stops your engine for a period of time. So you're now just trying so what, to coast and keep What am space. I rolling? You're rolling your acceleration. If you want to overclock, you can, but bear in mind you've already just taken a two damage. And the pushback roll itself is going to have a plus two modifier. Okay. I rolled a seven. No, you didn't. What? <laughs> no, you didn't. No, I didn't roll with fucking... Like, here's the thing. I rolled a 5. It's a plus 2 modifier due to the mod that just happened. No, you didn't roll a 5 either. No. Here's the no, thing. You, didn't. you can use integrity here. I'm mean, using integrity. Okay, how much are you using? Are you keeping Two. spot? Okay, so... You notice that through the mango trees that all of a sudden these uh, mag drops start attack attaching to you. And you notice that um, symbol coming up on the back of the car. And you're fighting really hard. And you, you, you fall back a moment. And that's when you see the number one actually coming up behind you. And with that, you try to surge yourself forward. You don't care about the integrity of your car at that moment. You slam against some of the trees, it knocks you around, it hurts your neck pretty badly as well, but you begin to try and fight yourself back to 19th position. You're safe for now, and once you're able to fight there, you hear disengaging as multiple uh, mag drops start dropping off again. And then good. you see a... I mean, have you ever played Welcome to the Game 2? Yep. Uh, you see, like, a laughing skeleton um, from there, like a ha, ha, uh, okay. ha, ha. Yeah. yeah, you see that from the back of the car. Uh, all those who uh, I don't know... Good news at some point, right? Yeah, there's got to be something good, but for those who don't know, uh, someone just using an illegal mod. At someone just using an illegal mod, so bear that in mind. Uh, yeah, that's right, you fuckers aren't the only one with illegal modifi modifications. Really? Shock, I didn't know yeah, that. No, no, imagine that, imagine that. Fine! We get to maneuvers yeah. phase on lap two! What are you doing? You're in third position! Oh, I'm defending. Oh, you're gonna hold? You're not gonna, uh, um, I'm, I'm take everything? Right, you are going to hold. Very well. Someone is definitely gonna try and overtake you with keeping here, so I need you to roll your weight against their acceleration. Uh, that person there is that, so, eh, they ain't got a good chance, but we'll see. Are you overclocking or anything? No? Okay. Uh, in that case, uh, do a 1 to 6 with your weight. Very nice. Ooh. Yeah, I ain't doing shit. Good news. It yeah, happened. Nah. Yeah, so, um, you effectively rig yourself to the ground. You are an immovable tank, and you notice this uh, pretty well-balanced racer trying to get around you. But using the trees, you're able to make sure that they have to even break at points, just to try and avoid the um, hazards in the air environment. Now, you could do a free slam if you wanted to. You cannot actually. Sadly, it's... because of contract. I would like yeah. money, thank you very much. Very well then. But yeah, no, you hold your ground in third position. Um... You know, Phenol rep that and all that. Yeah. Now, we go to the back of the pack here, because uh, we have an interesting situation where the rival is in view, ATX is uh, right in front of you, and uh, as you remember the last time, Pablo... Yep, as no, you remember, man, Pablo. Man, yep. You, you sort of begin to realize as well, as you were looking over people, you were looking for people, you weren't looking for machines, and one of the things that does catch your mind is that you could have when you saw a monitor being wheeled around at one point. And you're starting to realize as well, like, you know, that was an LED. We don't really use LEDs anymore. That's an old technology. That's when it does start to click that that is who ADX was. Because after their uh, previous form was uh, fucking deleted by their car, they had to be re uploaded. So, here they are. We have a new LED car and a new box of tricks. Uh, they don't really give a shit about winning this race. They've got teammates in other places, so uh, they are going to attempt to slam you. Uh, I need to get the stats of them really quickly because I need to double check what they have, but I need you to roll your weight. Oh, yeah, that's a that. Ooh, okay. Uh, oh, interesting. Yep, yeah, no, so that's going to be Oh, a, interesting, uh, indubitably, yep. Mm -hmm. They are going to... Uh, they're not going to overclock. They should have overclocked, because uh, they did not beat you. 
Uh, oh wait, ooh. fuck. Oh wait, no, there's a beat. Sorry, I forgot. They have a plus two, they wait. Oh, um, no. Never mind, let's not go, it's still rigged. I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean for this! I... You, actually, you actually just teased because he said I'm you guessing, won. I'm actually guessing no I can't play. overclock, can I? Uh, unfortunately, you can't right now. Uh, if you want to, you could use your radical. Yes. Okay, because here's the thing. They have rolled a four. You have rolled a three. Uh, oh, also, Klein, uh, add on a radical bonus because you were able to hold your ground and after a surging start, you hear the crowd cheering around you. Nice. You get a radical. So, there you go. That's something. Uh, Pablo. So I just so, roll again. Uh, yeah, tell me how you're using radical, though. How are you being radical in this moment? How am I being radical? Yeah, they are trying to slam into you. So what are you doing in this moment? What, what's your um, unique thing? What is a thing about Pablo? And their raising identity that is making them do something unique. Um, my use of um, track knowledge, because mm -hmm. I've been at the back, I've been quite chill, mm -hmm. and I've seen the track, and I know that there's a sharp turn coming up, and, and if he's going to hit me, I'll then slow down, let him go in front of me, and hit the side of the track. Mm -hmm. And I'll go around, hopefully. Something Alrighty. Like that case, roll again. And now you need to take off that radical bonus. Oh. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. That's amazing. Oh. How does he do it? So you take off the radical bonus you used. Um, they are going to land the time. So as you try to get around the corner and try to take advantage of that sharp turn, they knew the track beforehand as well. They knew that of any moment, that would probably be a great time to try and spin you around even. So, they don't go for a full slam, they simply spin you and begin trying to grind you into rails. So you are now in reverse being ground against rails. Uh, let's see how much damage they can potentially do. Fuck on, man. I swear to God, Kale. I... <laughs> you can't. No, 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 I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Pablo, how much integrity do you have? I have four. May I recommend you go back a slot? Because How much I, damage? What do you think? I hate to fucking say it, but I did roll a six. You're waffling. There's no chance. No, I, I, okay, look, you know me. Like, you should know me when I roll. I do roll legit. I. We get VAR. And, and oh it's VAR. My god. <laughs> oh my fucking god. How did he. I, I, you know, I think, I think we weren't supposed to win this session, you know? Maybe I should just yeah, never put a goal of get to podium, because that just seems to fuck everyone up. Yeah, get to podium is, is is quite challenging, actually, when there's 20 people. It's almost like that's a difficult thing or something. Everyone else was doing it last time, so I was like, oh, okay, you guys can do it again. Apparently you fucking can't. You know what luck is? There's The fact that <laughs> last time we got first, second, third is so insanely improbable, it's insane. I mean, then again, the other teams are doing it as well, but, you know, I... Oh, my fucking god, okay. Uh, no, that's fine. Um, okay. So... Pablo, um, you are now in 20th position. Nice. Oh. I, just because it might come into play here, I do just want to give you an option. It would forego your um, reward if you do want to hear an option that could forego a reward, but could be interesting. Well, you're not making any money anyway, go on. Put it this way. Um, you are currently running a clean race. You could get yourself disqualified and lose a bonus for um for uh, uh, uh old samson but you could get yourself dq'd and then try to slam against the person in, in first it's up to you though but um yeah that was their slam attack against you you now have a turn um the person 20th has now just gone past you they are very much a junker and they're looking like they're in a bit of rough condition they're more of an acceleration area but it seems like as well they've just had a hard time. Like as you were go as they were going by you, they sort of just like said so like they sort of mouthed sorry to you. But they're not really enjoying it. No, it's okay. It's okay. But, yeah, what do you want to do? I'm gonna do the best also, thing I can do. Also, do bear in mind they did slam you, so you do need to take that minus two integrity anyway. How much? Uh, it's only a minus two. <laughs> People go the only money we can get out of this, I swear, man. But all I'm saying is that you've really pissed off ATX. Uh, it was as calm as a thing, and we didn't think about the consequences last time. <laughs>
I think I think I'm gonna go safe. Okay, what are you doing? I'm, I'm gonna go full speed ahead. Okay, are you I'm going to try to overtake? Is that what you're I'm doing? I'm gonna try to overtake everyone. Bear in mind. You what? If you fail this, they could slam you, and if they succeed, that is taking you down another two. You what? What are you, you you're doing? What? You know, there is this person who is my role model. He's called Super Speed. <laughs> oh yeah. Tell me he about was, him. In, during my childhood, you know, he broke so many speed limits and everything like that. I was just watching him on TV as I grew up. It was just so inspirational, and he didn't mm. give up to his last race. Yeah. He and died so, for what he really believed in. Yeah, he died for what he believed in, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go full speed ahead and not give up. That's a death style, baby. Give it a go. Right, give it a go. Uh, <laughs> roll your acceleration against their weight. They're a speedster, so they've got a minus one at least. Just please don't fuck it up. Perfect. Oh Perfect. Yep, no, you are able to zoom by. Tell me how you embrace high, uh, super speed and get through. Do you do an old super speed maneuver? Um, yeah, do you do a speed, speed and slash? Yeah, speed and slash. Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah, yeah, speed and slash, yeah. What a, what a legend. Fair enough, exactly. So, almost like a knife, you sort of do like an, an arc around, and then you're able to, um, like, you do an arc, so then they try to stop you in one arc, but then you diffed around another way, like sort of like a backswing. And then with that, you're able to actually get them to uh, get dangerously close to one of the barriers as you then try and swoop through over the 19th. So, you're now back in 19th. The downside is that you are now right behind ATX. Yeah, why would you do that? That doesn't seem smart. So... I was, I was hoping that I'd get past it. Yeah, I mean, th this is a positioning right now. Clyde, you're, you're in third, so you're meeting the parameter. Uh, set by Fina, at least. Um, Somehow. Yeah, I... Yeah, um, ATX is uh, clearly in 18th, and Pablo, you're still in 19th. So... We have reached the final lap. And this point is a home straight where it is effectively just a watery area all over. Uh, incredibly thick marsh at best. There is not much traction that could be given. So at some point you're getting dangerously close to the water when sometimes your um, thrusters aren't quite engaging with just how, how close you are. But this is your last moment to do something. Uh, what are you doing, uh, Klein? Uh, let me take a think. I'm in third. I really don't want to be out of podium. Hmm, I think I'll hmm, defend or something. You can defend? All right. You don't want to go for a, for a few extra points, a few extra coins? Right. God, no. At this point, with how, with how, with how thin my pockets are, money is money, my guy. Okay, what I will say is that if you are holding, that just means no other races can get past. And I'll give you a bit of sage advice. There is no other sentient racer by you right now, so... The worst you can do is do an advance, but just not succeed. You're telling me not to defend. What I'm saying is that doing a defense is basically you saying you pushed up zero. I am oh, giving oh. you this as genuine advice. Wait, so why, why should... But if I, if I don't defend, someone could just overtake me, and then I won't have podium. So, how graphic rip works is that it's basically you getting to a general position, but we do the overtakes from there. What I'm saying with this is that a hold is to stop a, what I'd call a sentient racer. Right now there is no other sentient racer near you. It's just the other racers. I didn't know it was specifically sentient racers. So, like, that's the thing as well. I'm not going to track every single fucking 20 racer. That's so fucking hard to do. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to do that shit. Effort? Eh? What I'm saying is that it might be in your favourite advance. It's worse from the worst, you just stay in your one spot. Okay, I'll do that, but if this ends up bad, I'm blaming Chaos. What? Hey, I'm just trying to help. You can also overclock if you want to, or use a radical if you don't like your result. Do also, it. just because it might impact um, Pablo, if you have a radical left, you would be able to use it if you do need to get the fuck out of your car because it's about to explode. Uh, I think I'll just do a normal roll. Alright, fair enough. Uh, so, are you do so you're doing a normal advance, right? In that case, you need to do a 1d6 minus 1, and I'll be rolling for the pack. Guys, uh, it's, it's not good. Yeah, I mean, I only rolled a four. Yeah, but um, I, I, it's not good. Here's the thing, if you burn to integrity, you... Well, if you burn free integrity, you go up a spot. Nah. No, you're just going to keep where you are? Yep. All right, fair enough then. Yep, so you're trying to get yourself past two, but you're also noticing that four is trying to come up behind you as well, so you're trying to keep them in your um back, but... 
by that same time, you're not pushing beyond uh, number two. So right now, you're just trying to hold your position uh, more than anything. Um, well, our rival would like a bit of money at the end of this. So they are going to push forwards a bit. Now, let me check my stats really quickly, just so I know exactly what I've got going for them. Okay, yeah, very good. Uh, one roll. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go balls to wall on this one. Uh, so, you notice, um, Pablo, that they take a few nicks as they uh, go, but they almost seem to overlock in a way, but they all of a sudden start pushing pretty far ahead. Uh, they move up somewhere around seven to three um, positions, something like that. You can't quite immediately make out. How the hell did he do that? It's called a high roll and a low pushback. Oh, goodness me. I wonder what that's like. Yeah, I know, imagine. Um, they are moving up. Okay. They are there. That's something. Uh, Pablo. All right. How is your integrity? It's a two. Still, you know, honestly, could be worse. It definitely could be worse. Um, what are you doing as you're trying to keep your ground along the watery marshes right now? Full speed ahead. Alright, roll for me then. Oh. Yo. It was a plus two due to your weight, and I've rolled a two. So you can move up six oh. positions without being contested. Oh, oh go on then. Fortune? Question mark? Where from? So, uh, here's the thing. Uh, this is what I'm happens here, right? Him, aren't I? <laughs> no, you go up one spot, two spot, three spot, four spot, five spot. You then push past ATX to get into 13th. You push him the back last, into this, 14th. This is the last straight, isn't it? This is the last straight. Uh oh, he's gonna get a good finger in. <laughs> he is oh. fucking livid. That How finger do you do is going so far. <laughs> Yeah, no, he is not fucking happy with you. Um, as you can probably imagine, he has multitude of illegal mods, since yet again you begin to hear something else coming through your own comm system. Do you think you're funny? I'm going to rip out your esophagus. I promised it last time, I'll do it again. Fuck you. Where's with the esophagus? I know, I guess he just like throats and shit. Um, he looks but, nice, right? He gets yeah. a good finger in as I go past. Yeah, he is. I just saying you're on true integrity. You might want to be careful. Um... Oh my god, if you blow up, <laughs> if you blow up to ATX, it'll I be thought, the, I thought this was the, the last. Hell. I thought this was the last round. There's there's maneuvers. Oh god. And that's where shit happens. Um, mm -hmm. So, to get an idea of where people are right now, because shit is actually very close, and you need to be very careful. Um, Klein, you are in for position. Still trying to hold the area. Um. Pablo, you are in 13th, with an ATX right behind you in 14th. Before we get to them, though, fine, what are you doing? Um, just defending. Right, you're, gonna hold your, you're just going to uh, block any other racer potentially coming through? Yeah, it seems like the smart play. Real then, uh, roll a d6 plus your weight. Plus three. I, okay. Hey! I rolled a six, but they only had a plus one, so you're solid. I rolled an 8 and I only just barely passed the... What? what? I'm Man? sorry, you still passed. No one's getting by you. You've cucked someone. Enjoy it. You secured the podium. Also with the other two in front of you. So uh, that's cool. But um, yeah. Can we just get a time where we just get nice things happen to us? They get lucky, you know? That, you had really a great, great. time really last really race. I, look, Karma's fucking hitting hard, I think. Holy shit. Look, last race, was we did good. Yeah. But everything we did good on was actually a bad thing in disguise. Yeah. I mean, like, you, you're playing to me. I, I'm as stunned as you are. Like, I, Jesus fuck. Um, Alright. Uh, Pablo, yeah. let, let's start finishing this off. Um, Without sugarcoating it, you really fucking need to overtake someone. Because ADX is behind you and I think you know what they're going to do. Because yeah. they're in pretty prime condition. Um, Are you going to try and overtake? Yes, of course. Right. The person you're trying to overtake is very fragile. Chances are they're not going to defend very well. Super speed oh. will be proud of me. Yeah, don't, they're not, they're not going to defend well. 
No, honestly, you don't even need to roll. Uh, they're all a one, they have a minus one, they're all a zero, you have a plus two. You know, you're fucking solid. Um, yep, sure, fuck it. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was that you... two spaces? Oh, cool, okay, okay. No, you overtake the one person. How do you overtake this fragile little racer? I casually drive past him. I Fair bet. enough. Do you think I'm a gun? Not do anything. <laughs> do you think a gun? Um. Well, last time you think a gun, it didn't work out well. So do I it need again. to ask: yeah, yeah, Is yeah. it a Pablo thing to finger gun? Is it a Pablo thing? Oh, I don't know. You see, he's being sensible right now, and the sensible thing here is to finger gun him. So I'm gonna finger gun him. <laughs> I thought you were. I was. I was so proud for a second. I was so proud for a split second, but then straight back into it. Okay, just for the hell of it, I want to roll a d6. Um, uh, can I change Actually, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna roll a 1d100, no. okay? For... Okay, if it's a 50 or above, they're going to attack you. Oh, oh thank god. <laughs> you have fucking... Whew! 8 x so they're gonna slam them. Uh, alright, let's see. Uh, they don't have any weight. 8 is weight. Oh, fuck. Oh fuck, okay, um, you get by them and like, they're, they're about to try and do something to you but they're thinking, no, you know what, I'm fine, I'm calm, I am... Um... Oh no, I feel so horrible. Why did you finger gun them? Why did you do this? You said, I'm gonna be sensible and then you've done that. This so, guy passed um... you before and felt sorry for you, and you did that to him. <laughs> uh... I didn't do anything to him, this is a way to act. I don't know what you're about. I now need to roll a public 1d6 roll. As I shit you not. Oh, it's gonna be a 6. Come on. I shoot, I, I shoot you not. So, AJ did a slam attack on this guy that you passed. They were fragile. They still had fine integrity. They had 7. Cool. Great. Right. AJ is a plus 2 to wait. They, they... They rolled a 5. And they just fucking shredded this motherfucker. I was straight through them, straight through the center of the ship. Yeah, their car's about to fucking explode, because chances are they aren't going to have a chance to really, you know, get away from it. I'm just calling that as that. They ain't getting away from this shit. They're fucked. All right. Let's see. Place your bets. Is this racer going to fucking die? They're not going to die. Thank God. But as you okay. pass them, like, they have a moment of respite of, you know what? No, I am calm. I am fine. I am not going to go to a... As ADS just fucking like Rocket League blast through them. Oh my god. They are fucking ravenous trying to get to you right now. You are scrambling to get over the fucking finishing line. They pass through them, but you do see a parachute go off, so you are think that they are alive. But right now, whilst Klein is finishing, Klein, you sort of turn around, you can sort of see right now. Um, Pablo, are you at all panicked in this situation? Because you have a very fucking angry ATX right behind you. With a very I'm, fucked up car. I'm a bit annoyed right now, too. Yeah, no, you you, you just want to see how they fight their life right now. ATX that's, is fucking for blood. That is not racing right there. I'm very angry. Yeah. Oof. But, with that, each racer crosses the finish line. So... Let's go. Yeah, let, let, let's go to money. Because, as you know, no one did a slam attack, so, uh, you know, you're not getting bonuses from that, at least. Um, Righty, how about we go ahead and give you your money? So, get ready to track this, because I'm not going to track it for you. Um, where is it? Where is the money? Where is the money? Where is money table? Oh, money table. Monopoly money. Table. Monopoly money. Money table. I mean, bro, you're just gonna fucking gamble it all the way. Why am I giving you money? <laughs> oh yeah, true. Why? This is this is the money I'm taking to Carrigan. <laughs> oh dear fucking lord! <laughs> <laughs> he can't win again. It can't be that rigged. You gain thirteen volts, three thousand six hundred crits. Three thousand six hundred. Yep. I, I I had all the money I had before. Gained yeah, back from the because you were third last time, then you fucking gambled it away. Let's go again. Let's oh, go again. God. Let's gamble again. 
Oh dear lord. ATX gets their funds. Um. Oh dear fucking lord. Pa Pablo, you, you are 12. Um. You gain 4 volts and 10 credits. And 100 credits. But you are alive. Oh, that covered me for a batch of milk. Hell yeah. Y yeah, that basically gets you a gun. Like, you know, that, 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 that ain't... That ain't... Yeah, no, they, they get... Like, the milk is fucking expensive is the issue as well. You're not going for, like, you know, normal milk. This shit is primo. You're not going around your Tesco's and grabbing whatever on the shelf that expires yeah, in no. two hours. Yeah, no, that's more like Waitrose shit there. Like, you know. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Waitrose shit. But if it makes you feel any better, the reward for finishing 19th is 10 crits. I can buy milk with that. Yeah, you can buy normal milk with that shit. Like, that's what you're getting with that. You normie milk. But, How does the race end? Well, the race ends with all of you quite quickly being beamed up. Uh, they beam you up first, Pablo, because even as a race is ending, every, all the other races have slowed down, but you are still being chased by ATX. ADX is just lividly going after you, and you're you're almost doing another lap of a race until you are finally beamed out. Then uh, Klein, you have been beamed out as well, and you all return to your paddocks. Um, Carrigan is standing there just with his arms crossed at the start. You aren't out of your car yet, but you know, he's I like being more jubilant. Car for a bit, just calming yeah. down. He's been more jubilant before, put it that way. But. You are all safe. Uh, needless to say, though, your car, Pablo, is fucked. Can I? Can I actually do something? Uh, what would you like to do? Pop out the car, pull out my gun, walk <laughs> over to ATX. <laughs> You're gonna and need to find him first. I'll walk around. I won't pull out my gun straight away. I'll walk around, see if I can find him. And if I find him. Oh, Rob, uh, before you say like before shit. before you say anything, so you're getting out of your car. Carol going to talk to you like, "Hey, you're a Pablo. What what happened to that race? Uh, like, I I get you're in a bad position, but you're a speedster. What what happened? Are you just like blank out ignoring him? Yes, I'm I'm livid. Right. I walk past him in a rage. All right. Uh, when did you get out of the landing? Roll a theory check. And if you believe your reputation as I, I'm it, gonna say this. Yeah. Do I want to with roll your or high? You need to roll. I'd high. say that's more chaotic. I'm, I'm in like rage. My man is raging, about to go <sighs> shoot a person. If this is not chaotic, nothing is. All right. You hear a rapid. You hear rapid wheeling coming from the right. Right. I go. I go investigate. I go. All right. You begin to chase uh, what you saw before. Um, so just grab ATX bit. You remember Karen from SpongeBob? Oh yeah. Uh, basically, imagine that, but it's being wheeled by another attendant. So there's like a quite short sort of um, kid, just like sort of wheeling ATX about. Um, they don't have any other motors. They're just being wheeled about. Uh, they are then wheeled uh, down to a few other hangars, and they're sort of uh, wheeled over to like a more desolate area of the um, hangar right now. Um, it's got dimmer lights more than anything as well. They seem to just be trying to move out of the way. I keep on following. Okay. Uh, roll me a check and tell me what you think it is. What do you think this check is going to be? Because you are now stalking someone. Um. Hmm. And I will so say I'm as well. Is there anyone around? The, um, the further you go, the less people there are. Put it that way. And I will say as well, with your reputation of that race, you were very much a victim of AGXs. So, you know, maybe your reputation role could help here. Hmm. Um. Do you think you're carefully tracking them or are you just going by perception? I'll go by perception. All right, give it a roll. Uh, what? do you want to ju <laughs> do you want to justify using your reputation roll? My, what is what roll is that? Uh, so reputation basically allows you to roll again and pick the result you want. Um, do I bet that I'll roll low or high? Well, 
You've said you're going off perception, so you're going to need a chaos, a uh, chaos score of it. So it's going to need to be low. But you no, might as well roll it again. So I'd say your reputation could go in this. Bear in mind, but you've had some pretty close escapes uh, with ATX right now. Hmm. Uh, while you're while you're doing that, um, Klein, what are you doing? Did I know? Do I know what's happening to Pablo? You just saw Pablo get up and leave. Yo, come with me, Klein. Come with me. We'll shank him. <laughs> I mean, uh, are, uh, you are you calling for Klein to come with you? Yeah, go on. <laughs> okay. All right, fucking right combat. Uh, Carrigan tried to talk to both of you, but you both just fucking blank him. Um, all right. Uh, Klein, as, as you leave, you hear uh, um, Carrigan say, "Don't come over tonight." Um, that's what you hear from them. But you know, fuck it, you're with them as well. If you want to roll a kick, if you want to roll, here's the thing: you're not enraged. So if you want to, Klein, you can roll a fury check. Uh, Pablo, you can roll your chaos check because you are enraged. Yes, my theory check. I'd love to so, roll a theory so check. So both of our worst attributes, right? Now. I'd love <laughs> yeah. to roll a theory check yeah. for you, my good sir. You mean Look, the I've got to make it diff I've got to make it interesting here. Okay. You want me to roll a chaotic check? check? Bear in mind as well. Reputation aside as well, that could be an interesting factor. So, Pablo, you need to roll again if you want a chance of tracking him right now. This is like your idea of your reputation with how with your race with ATX right oh. now and seeing how. Oh, okay, that's what you oh. needed. Oh, Fine, do you want to roll as well? We're gonna shank him. Pardon? You want to roll as well? Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, fuck it. Ah, okay. Uh, Klein, oh. you're not really catching on. You're sort of stumbling with, um... You're sort of stumbling around with Pablo. Uh, you, you are definitely knows the agitation in Pablo right now. You just say it is palpable. Yeah, but Pablo... Uh, Pablo? Oh, God. Pablo, you Pablo? are... Pablo? Um, Pablo? I am livid. Yeah, you are angrily stalking them, and you start getting over to a quiet area where the lights are kind of out, and you see what looks like a bit of a derelict exit more than anything, and they seem to be going towards that. There's like no one else around, um, and the lights are very dim. I pull out my gun and shoot above the door. You're shooting in the stop. hangar. Um. <laughs> oh my god. A tradition, someone has to die. So, can we just clarify what's my rule with guns at the moment? Guns are loud. That's you have three seconds. Are you shooting? Three, two, no. one. You're not shooting. Okay. What are you doing? Um, I'll call it off. I'll call off the manhunt. So, I, so Pablo, you begin to aim your gun, and just you're right, you're be, and just you're beginning to squeeze the trigger. You stop. You take a moment. You slowly draw back down the gun as they begin to leave through the door. Uh, as you're drawing it down, you notice the attendant just stares at you with wide, terrified eyes and begins to push faster. Oh, I exhale and I turn around and walk away. Do you still have your gun out? <laughs> it's up to uh, you. No, I put away my gun. Alrighty. Uh, Klein, are you still following at this point, or uh, what do you want to do? Because, you know, you saw ATX leave. I follow him, and I just walk, stumbled behind him. <laughs> yeah. I see him point a gun at some kid, wheeling a little computer <laughs> out. Oh my god. Like, what, what are you doing? Are you good? Imagine if it was if I rolled wrong, it was just someone with a wheelchair with a disabled person. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, pointing my gun at the... <laughs> okay. You're back in the shot, someone dies. Just uh, a random good thing. Person. Yeah, he comes... Klein comes around the corner and I'm putting my gun away and walking away. <laughs> oh dear. Well then. Do you want to go back to the hangar and talk to Carrigan or? Yes. All right. Can I just ask him what was going on? Can I just go like, what, what was that? The care to take? Hmm? Sorry? Can I, can I just have it so that in the, in, in the thing that my character just asked him what was going on while we're walking back? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah. No, talk about it now. Talk about it now. Oh. Yeah, so you, you just think a gun at some kid? He has illegal mods and he used them on me. That kid wasn't racing. Yes, he was. That child that was in no that child. race. Are you, are you good? Is the milk a bit expired? Are you okay? <laughs> Person has it out for me. That child 
did not have anything. You pointed that gun at him. He looked scared for his life. I could have died there for this trash racing, if you could even call it racing. Okay, the racing, that was horrendous. That child was not racing you. No. That child looked like he shit himself when you pointed that gun at him. It's not. Don't worry. I walk back to Carrick. What? You can't point your gun at something and say, don't worry. This is entirely <laughs> my concern. I you told me shoot. to worry. I didn't thing. shoot, okay? I stayed calm and collected throughout the whole entire time. Okay? Yeah, calm and collected. I just collected. angrily huff off. It looked like you're about with murderous intent at a child, and you're fine. Listen, okay? Yeah, everything around was us. under control. Is there anyone around us? There isn't, is there? You're, you're starting quiet. to go back to the area where razors are. Uh, yeah, that's the key thing. You, you know the you... Yeah, you, like, so they've, like, fucked off, but, like, you're now still, still walking back over to where the Fina Opera Hangar is. You're going by a few races, even some races actually in your uh, race that you noticed. Um, tell you what. Uh, Pepper, give me a, uh, Chaos Roll. Oh, that's not a very good one. Yeah, oh. no. You get a feeling someone's eyeing you down. Not in a way of scrutiny, but something else. Some of the eye of a hunter, maybe. Some of the eye of, you know, someone quick on the draw. But you can't see where it's coming from. Okay. And That's you hear a nice. little hay bale, maybe, just, you know, tumbleweed That's... at one point. But yeah, that might be. Where is he? Let's have this stand off. You don't I'm know where they are. Alright. No, oh, returns Carrigan. Come on. I, I, I quickly pace myself when I feel that presence. Yeah. I'll notice, just but... walk with him. Yeah. Uh, Klein, I'm, you probably don't notice shit, really. You're just worried about the fact he has a fucking gun and that he nearly killed a kid. Yeah, I, I'm just worrying about the insanity of my teammate. Insanity or the sanity of my teammate. You know, right. maybe he's um, off his rocker. <laughs> Uh, I mean, the milk does cause issues. Um, let's see. Anyway, so I you start coming back to your hangar, and Carrigan's just sort of waiting there. Like, just making a few calls as well, a little bit flustered, like, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of, I'm gonna chat with him, yep, yeah, I, I understand from that, I'm, I understand this, yep, <laughs> yep, oh, 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 hey, got, oh, okay, I'll call you back. Hey, 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 guys, um, well, that was, uh, something. Um, yeah. That, you know, you guys did great on your first time, you know, this ain't me taking away from you or anything like that, you know, you, you did fine, uh, you know, one of you got podium, so, you know, people are fine, um, I think just next race we need to be a little bit more, uh, conservative with uh, your capabilities, I, I don't mean in disrespect, it's just, you know, Wait, you made a really good like impression, no, 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 it's just, you know, there's people out there who were expecting uh, a whole lot of things because they were real promised a whole lot of I things. I think the fact and... that he came across that line alive isn't a Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, don't get me wrong. Like, you got, you were, that that guy, um, who who was that guy? He was uh, ATX. ATX, I, I ain't heard of them uh, before. I, he is, he no. was in the last race. Can you describe him really quick? Um... <laughs> <laughs> no you ever watch. watch Spongebob? I've never heard. Okay, um, you know like a heartbeat monitor? Uh, yeah. It is a bit like that, and there's someone wheeling him. So I think there might be a mastermind behind ATX. Explain right. that the person is not a human and is the robot. Hmm. Okay. It's right. a robot. You know, I usually know a lot of races that come through here. I never heard of them before hmm really what team they race for yeah no like you know if you're not get got tabs on a bunch of people um we need some new folks coming around but yeah no like uh, one of the uh, new fellas uh discorrect they uh put up quite a scene actually uh they end up getting to a few uh spouts of people uh 
You know, that's with a uh, paradoxical team. I don't know if you heard of them, but they had a very explosive start. Uh, quite literally, actually. It's a good thing if you have one got out. But um, yeah, no, like, you also, know, we keep tabs on a bunch of the teams because uh, even as well, like, uh, there's another team, Smartro. Uh, they're, they're headed by Tansen uh, Limited. They are uh, very much doing uh, quite well, actually. Uh, poor kid, though. Um, yeah, sorry, go ahead. Can we, uh, don't want to be paranoid one, but we raised security around about our apartments and why is that are, are you being targeted i might be okay because it's just a feeling yeah i also do want to mention i did get a call from uh, a family member from uh, sadie or uh, her her sister apparently you were there yes i told you why I told you so I can give her flowers. Yeah, but I was told that you had been harassing and that you didn't want to listen to the guard. You did what? I handed my flowers to the guard and he took it to the front door because oh, I couldn't okay. get to the front door. Right, f fair enough. Okay. Uh, m maybe just leave out of the uh, family stuff there. Um, I don't know. I think she took it wrong, maybe. Um, I don't know. I can try and iron something over, but... Yeah, there's a. Uh, oof, things are dicey. You know, it's definitely in a rough period, not gonna lie. <laughs> um. Yeah. Hey, sorry, I'm. I'm trying to, you know, uh, quell some nerves and things like that. There's been, like, there's been, like, some other people as well being interested lately. Uh, some real shadowy people, but. I don't know, it seems to me it's really hard to, you know, play legitimately anymore. I'm glad you guys were able to do it legit. It's just. Yeah. Squeaky clean reputation, hard to keep. Worse, I suppose. Yeah, no, you know, at, at least you didn't murder anyone, so you don't have, you know, the murderous uh, intent. I mean, there uh, could be only one of us standing here. Yeah. 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 But hey, and these guys aren't murderers or, you know, bad freaks or anything like that, so. Okay. Right. Anyway, I'll. Uh, yeah, sorry, Glyne, but I'm gonna have to cancel tonight. Um, so obviously, some stuff's come up with a race and. Also, now I've got to rearrange some uh, accommodation. Um, if you guys want to go into the city, you'll be fine. It's just I'll I'll take you some uh, a, a new uh, hotel. I I can find another area. It might not be quite as nice. Uh, there won't be a mini fridge, uh, so you might need to get your own stuff beforehand, just as a heads up. If you need some more as cash, I can give you a supply. Oh yeah, no, it should be a lot safer. Yeah. It's we got fallback hotels for uh, people who reach a level of stardom that you know. Well, yeah, I mean, well, with. Uh, we have stuff in the news. You definitely need to lay low right now. Um, you know, I gotta ask, Klein, did you actually, you know, with Sadie? No, no, no. They, they, the press just take whatever they want. Okay, uh, but Pablo, why did you say that he did and that then, Klein, you said Pablo's probably correct. Well, I thought he was looking up my... I thought I thought he would... I thought, I thought he would say something that would help me. I just felt like the level was in the air. Oh, God. I don't know why I trusted him, to be honest. Okay, word of advice. When it comes to the press, don't give any fucking ambiguity. Even if you say no, they'll still think you're trying to hide something. But at least then they think it's trying to hide something, not that you're creating a bigger lie. So, if you don't know something, don't say something, okay? Yeah, but surely this is a better kind of publicity than when it was last, last time. We had a race. <laughs> not really, because... A dead be racer. Worse. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, it is a fucking tragedy what happened, okay? But they're a goddamn hero and a savior. You know, they, they are revered. Now, this is shitting on their legacy. That's the issue here, you know? Golden Racer talks about an affair that's now just been spread out. That that really screws things up for us a bit. You know, I'm sorry, it's just... Oh boy, the amount of fucking paparazzi I have to deal with. Or, um... They think I'm the under unidentified guy, it's... Yeah, anyway. Yeah, me as well. Or before yeah. Pablo as well. But look, you know, just give it a few weeks. They'll probably peter it out. They'll, the issue is, though, there'll be a bunch of internet conspiracy theories now. Um, Yeah, uh, don't answer them. Don't respond to them. Don't say anything about this. I'll get uh, PR reps on this. I'll give you guys a PR rep so that you can chat with them and get things sorted. But Pablo, for dear God, don't say someone had a relationship if you don't actually know they had a relationship. 
Okay. Thank you. Sorry if I'm coming off bit bitchy. It's just, oh shit. <laughs> it ain't easy. It, it, yeah. Okay. You bitchy? No, never. Thanks. I appreciate that. Um. But yeah, look, I'm sorry. I can't do it tonight. I need to get things sorted. Um. What? Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's just understandable. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. You guys do what you need to do, or I don't know if any of y'all can do any upgrading or anything like that, but if I could give some advice, keep a hold of your funds for now. Or um, might be a bit dicey, we'll see. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, feel free to stick around the hangar as long as you can. I'd say take the back exit. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't go through the front for fun this time. Absolutely or, yeah. not. But Trust me. That, no, no, absolutely not. I, I, after um, that race and Pablo being attacked by ETX, there's gonna be a whole bunch of fucking theories about that as well. Like they're gonna think that there's some vengeful other lover, like you know, whole trifecta of you know, triangling and you know, the, the finger gunning as well. We're gonna think that's like some in that's like innuendo as well. And it, you really gotta stop with the finger guns, man. <laughs> they really they really they really upset yeah. people. How do you piss people off so easy? Listen, it's gonna be the biggest selling point in the future. I don't know. I mean, like, maybe if it was like a figurine or something that, you know, we can then put in a few, like, voice lines or something, but. I... I'm trying to monetize it. At least. No, no. This I... is going to give some good fame. Oh, yeah, you're fucking talked about, but. Yeah, we need good press. We don't need any. Okay. Look. We'll leave it for now. Um, just. Keep your head kind of low. If you got places to be, just don't go saying, hey, I'm being inoperable or anything like that. Um, probably for the best now. Just, you know, keep it easy. We'll get back. Um, yeah, we need to find some new talent, I guess. Um, yeah, okay. Look, I, I, I gotta go make some calls. I'll, I'll text you or uh, the location soon. Uh, take it easy. Yeah. All right. Uh, they head back to their office. Damn. Well, we can't catch a break, can we? <laughs> but, yeah. I'm not liking Fina so much anymore. Yeah. Yeah. But is there I don't want to be to rude, do? but they're just pussies. Right. I know we're I know we're in the rabbit. <laughs> he called them pussies. Yeah. I had half the mind to go out into the press and challenge ATX to a one v one. Hey, you're you're not straight. You need to put that gun. In your house, and you just not touch it. You shouldn't hold that. I, I'm gonna keep it on me. Cause I think I got a, a number one fan who wants to meet me soon. Please keep the safety on my bag. Do you think this thing has a safety? <laughs> The safety is the fact there isn't a, a bullet in the chamber all, at all times. Yeah. Like, it has that one chamber without a bullet. That's the fucking safety. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, oh, uh, oh, go ahead. Sorry, I keep cutting in. Go ahead. Fine. Uh, you want to come get some upgrades with me? I know I, I was going to go investigate a place for it. May I'm going to spend all my things for repairing. Oh. Can yeah, I, you can, always, you can I, always get repaired at another mechanic if you want to, like, suss it out I, and get repaired. Can I, like, send a message to, um, Steven and ask him if I can get compensation for my damage. Uh, right. well, before anything, how about we roll a 1d3 plus 1? So, who would like to roll that? I, 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 I would say whichever one has better luck, but I don't <laughs> think either of us are in a position to do that. You want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it. 1d3 plus 1? Yep, and that'll be how much integrity you repair passively. <laughs> Fuck. My god. So you gain a plus two. It's rigged. It's rigged. It's, 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 honestly, it's rigged. <laughs> I said this before, I'll say it again, it's so rigged. I can't help this! <laughs> oh, fuck me. But you can go to the other mechanics if you want to get repaired by them as well. There's, there's only been a mechanic if you don't want to go anywhere else, really. But you know, you can go wherever you want to when it comes to repairs. Obviously, you have the uh, name of the other mechanics, which do you remember? Oh yeah, 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 I remember the name. Yeah, what is it's, it? It's, um, Steven. 
and uh yeah steven what? uh can you uh repair this for me oh you want funeral mechanics uh okay or uh, yes, just please. put your votes in the machine you'll be fine is it one vote for one repair one vote for two repair one vote for two repair okay yep so, so if you got four I'm votes five if you're on five what is your max integrity eight i think Okay, so if you want to get max integrity, you need to spend two volts. Alright, cool. Two volts Ready. it is. Uh, off you go then. Uh, Klein, how about you? Are you repairing the full? Can I get a better deal at this place I'm going to? Probably not, right? Uh, you can do it at the place you, you're going to as well if you want to like, suss them out and see how good they are. I mean, I don't have a race for like two weeks. I can just repair it. Yeah, sure, fuck it. You want to go to that place? Yeah. Alright, uh, fair enough. You go to a moment's brevity. So, have a look at uh, Sorry, what? Is, is, is Pablo coming with me? Uh, Pablo, are you coming with? No. No? Okay, fair enough. He's too mad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, completely <laughs> calm. I mean, he's just he's so level-headed. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Uh, Klein, you alone go to Moments Brevity. Uh, one of the uh, mechanics that you probably know about, which, uh, could have some interesting, uh, legal mods, should you say the right code word. But, it is a legitimate mechanics as well, um, you see the, um, capitalization, um, is very much in, uh, a good way, but you walk in, and you are immediately greeted with a friendly smile. Don't remember it. Like, at mm -hmm. all. Oh, this is... I'm so dumb. I should, like, write this down. <laughs> I do not remember it at all. It was, like, the hollow... Spider knock or something? Was that it? I I, I, I don't remember it at all. Uh, the, the guy's talking to me right now, right? Uh, they're smiling at you, and uh, you, you sort of see down to the side. It seems to be like a little notepad for writing in. Uh, one of the things you do notice when you come in is that sound is very well muffled here. Right. You can't seem to hear anything. Even though you see work going on. Uh, I, I walk up to the guy at reception. Mm hmm I say, hey, I have, um, I have a, I have a pickup for a guy called Gregory. He doesn't respond. He just points down to the tablet. Oh. What's on the tablet? Uh, it seems to just be a writing tablet. Uh, like, when you're talking as well, you can't seem to really hear yourself either. It's like there's a weird muffling effect. I just write what I said on the tablet. Yep, yeah, fair enough. Uh, they look at it. Uh, they look at you a bit confused and like, they do a hand gesture that is like, go on. Uh, you might know him, I write down this still. I, you might mm -hmm. know him as Sam. He shakes his head. What was the code? What was it? Oh, why am I so dumb? Why didn't I write Yo, this down? While you're here. Can you do a chaos check to see if you notice something? Uh -huh. What? Oh, fuck. That's incredible! A six! Wow, I didn't want that at all! Does your reputation as a podium place a help here at all? Uh, I... Or you have a radical bonus if you want to as well. Yeah, use the radical. Where was, where was that six when we needed to roll? Oh, I believe I rolled a six. That's <laughs> insane. Fucking hell. Um, the yeah, one time that to roll low. That radical bonus? <laughs> yeah, you want to use radical bonus? How are you being radical oh. in this? Um, how do you be radical at telling a guy information over a counter? It's the most I know, boring. You do it coolly, you put your arm on the table, you give him a smile. Can I have my back to the counter, put both my arms on the counter, and hoist myself up onto it, and swing my legs around. Yeah, sure. Can I do that? Yeah, fuck it. If that's radical for you, go ahead. Well, it's the most radical I can think of in this situation. I'm telling him information <laughs> over a counter. I'm just trying to throw you a bone here, man, you know? I, I would love a bone. It's just incredibly bad. Fuck it, just roll again. Take off your radical bonus now, because, you know, you've used it. I roll Give it another roll. If it's another six, I swear to fuck. Okay. Thank you. God. It's not a critical, so you don't get all the information, but you do get something. I just sort of swing your legs over, you sort of see behind the counter a tiny bit. Like, you're trying to think, like, oh, God, what's the name? It's something like Willow, um, 
um, wallow. Uh, then you clock onto something. And it burns in your mind. Moments brevity. Moments brevity. I don't know what those words. I don't know what that word means, my guy. M B. Oh. Oh my! I'm so dumb. I so freeze for a moment. As you're trying to like think about what's going on, and you, you can't give a name now, but you're thinking M B. M B. M B. And with that, we're going to leave it there. Because fuck you, cliffhangers, that's why. <laughs> yep. Oh my. Oh my god. I, uh, I can't believe I couldn't remember it. I'm so <laughs> stupid. Just so you know, now that we've ended, I will tell you. Willow that knocks. You think if I put down what I said before, he, it would have been close enough? It's not an autocorrect. Yeah, but I'm giving to this guy across the county who's reading it. He didn't say he didn't say yes to Gregory and he didn't say yes to Samson. He he needs the specifics. He needs a fucking I'm key. So stupid. How why did I not remember that? I'm I'm sorry. But Aww. hey, we're ending it off here. <laughs> oh god, I need to write I need to write something. Yeah, about like I'm so sorry about the luck. Like I don't like why we like I must have just stolen your luck, since I was rolling pretty well. How many revolt ones did we roll? We were one, two. Three. I had to yeah. waste the radical. Yeah, no, that was Five. a lot there. Six. Jesus fuck. You know, like, this is our I longest gravity rip stream as well, at three hours forty minutes, and I this is the six worst ones. Yeah, the amount of shit as well you did in your like spare time was fucking incredible. Oh yeah, I just wanted to slam as much as I could. I wanted to get my foot in the door. Yeah. You know, I feel I feel like the game was punishing you for stealing from charity and gambling. Like, you know, two pretty big fucking sins. The gambling was fine because I lost on the gambling. I didn't said, yeah. <laughs> Let's make him loot more now that he's lost the gamble. I... <laughs> oh, fucking... I, I did yeah, not I, expect actually, things to go that way. I'm actually kind of happy I lost the gamble. Yeah. Because it, cause that gives me more in. Yeah, it and makes things interesting. It's dumb. But, oh, dear lord. Uh, anyway... Bad luck aside, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it like, I, I want to very much emphasize here, those rolls were legitimately my rolls. I wasn't, like, white lying things. I legitimately was rolling them. I definitely don't doubt that. You, you, no, you wouldn't lie to me, would you, Kaylee? I would generally wouldn't lie about that shit. I play d and I wouldn't lie about my fucking rolls. There's no reason for me to. You know what we need? Next time, we need, we need a cheese va VAR on this. I'm not gonna fucking send a camera to cheese of my dice rolling because that is effectively crotch cam. Why don't you roll them on the table? Because I have a fucking keyboard, I have two monitors, my desk isn't that them big. On the floor. No, I'm not. Okay, hold on. Uh, if I'm rolling on the floor, I'm going down to here, right? Yeah. And then, like, you know, you've got chaos down here. Yeah. No. Just, just take it, roll it on the floor, come back up. No. No. That's so much fucking effort. Fuck off. <laughs> no feet, no crotch. Okay, shut up, cheese. Oh, dear. No feet, no crotch. Big sad. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, hopefully you did enjoy it. Um, <laughs> I hope to do it again. Uh, I was going to say as well, hey, you know, maybe after our second races, we should do some PvP races. But, wow, we might need to wait one more for you guys. Um, yeah. It's a bit of <laughs> now. <laughs> I stop throwing. Every, I think every action I took, and every <laughs> yeah, action it, Pablo took, was was for, was the funny. It, was yeah. The fun it was mutually destructive. Like the moment that you accidentally set yourself out in the fucking Chris's eye, I was like, oh shit, yeah, I gotta do something with this. Like I was hurting myself, and Pablo was hurting himself. Yeah. But Pablo was also hurting me. You were all just whip like it was like self-flagellation, but then like as you go for a forward swing, you hit the other person, and then you whip back. So it's like constantly hitting each other and then yourself. Maybe it would make take a turn and it'll actually turn out good. We will see. See but, if um... it takes a turn, but you know, because then it will go from hate it being famous for being hated and then being famous for being loved. Ugh, do a fucking Johnny oh, Depp oh, Amber I Heard. said to myself when, this, when we did this in the first place, what I said to myself in the first place is I'm going to go out of the public eye as much as possible. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I said when I started this. 
And then you did this. You're now a part of a potential love triangle with uh, a recently deceased, um, you know, golden racer. No one died this time. Yeah, no one died at least. So that's good. Um, Although I think he he dying did. instead of all the stuff that happened would have been... You literally shot a child wheeling a yeah. monitor out. <laughs> oh, and I, 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 just, I, you didn't give me a reason. I asked, why did you do that? You just went child. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean I do. Man. I said, I said bad racer. <laughs> you said the bad racer. Explanation. Oh dear lord. I, I, wait, I'm going to be any uh, off now because we are actually getting like fucking four hour territory. So uh, yeah, probably for the best. But mm. uh, yeah, thanks again for playing. Uh, hope you had fun. Um. <laughs> no, do I like masochism? I don't think I do. Yeah, well, it's now to the stream ending, so is there anything you want to say to the stream before we end? Um, don't play your... You go on. Uh, give your rivals a good finger in. Yeah, I can't top that, I'm going to be honest. Well... That's just, that's just continent speak. <sighs> we, we're leaving with that. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Good night.